refused to block the law in Texas where Texas, the state, was arresting people who entered illegally. Now, the Biden administration and the Justice Department wanted the law blocked because of the profiling aspect of it. What, first, they're saying the federal government has purview over immigration, and the federal government is the one that enforces immigration. And second, other people who are against the law say, they're against the law in Texas, saying you shouldn't profile people based on what they look like, and then, you know, basically ask for their papers and arrest them if they're here illegally. Now, the Supreme Court refused to block it. They didn't really hear the case on its merits. They just felt the state had the power to do it. So they refused to hear it. Everyone took that as an approval of that law. But what the Supreme Court really did was sent it back to a lower court. The lower court, I believe last night, did block it. So now the lower court says, and it's a federal court, a federal judge said that they're putting a stay on this law until they can look into the constitutional aspects. But they're, but they're also, it was a very quick stay, and they're taking oral arguments on it in the next day or two. Okay, that's good. The oral arguments with the Supreme Court, Mark, or with that with the federal court? With the federal court, and then the federal court will decide, and then if they go against Texas, of course, then it'll go back to the Supreme Court to actually rule on. Thank you. Now, Mark, um, should I reboot the cameras, by the way? Yeah, I was just typing in there. Yours right. is just no good, man. All right, I don't know what's going on, but again, uh, you know, these things happen. I just turned them off. I'll turn them back on. You didn't do anything. Yeah. Anyway... I want to talk to Greg with an IRS issue, and we have our experts on from LarsonTaxRelief.com. These guys are really good for people who have a lot of trouble. And uh, there's always that point, when do you call them, when do you not? And, Michael, I say call them no matter what. And then you guys, you, you, can, you will honestly assess people's situation and tell them, hey, you know what, you don't really need us or it may not pay to hire us, here's what you should do. Isn't that what you have been done in the past? That's what I love about what you guys do, Michael. Is he there? Michael? Let's we just give them some, some guidance and yes. let them go on their way. Yeah. Okay, so let's talk about this. And because uh, my camera's not working, I can actually itch and pick my nose, do whatever I want. Hey, I wanna, Michael, I want to talk about this with Greg. Greg is calling for an employee, okay? And Greg, why don't you explain the situation? I have your call here, but since you're on, explain to Larson Tax Relief what's going on. So I have an employee who has not filed tax returns for, I'm, I'm thinking decades. He's been my employee for, uh, since I purchased the business approximately six or seven years ago. Um, he has not filed a return in that time. He's, uh, he's set uh, his withholdings at five dependents, which he does not have, and uh, you know, so to minimize them. And recently he received a letter from the state of Colorado um, Revenue Department that he needed to pay $1,000 for tax years 18 and 19 plus a $250 using round numbers. Uh, fine, or they were going to start garnishing his wages uh, toward the end of this month. Do you know why and they flagged just those years, Greg? No, no idea. My my suspicion would be, and Larson would know better than I, but my suspicion is they'll go after those, and then as soon as that's met, they'll go after other years. Now, here's what I want to tell you. They... Here's what I want to ask you. This is important. You have been paying him and paying withholding on him, and you have been using his Social Security number. Is that right? That is correct. So there is a file in the sky for this employee. Yes. So I have some basic questions for Larson Tax Relief. Michael, when somebody is hired 
and an employer pays withholding on this person and when there's a file in the sky does that trigger the IRS or the state to eventually say where's the return yeah and that could also trigger Tom uh, the state or IRS to file a return for the taxpayer and start collecting on that return when they so file when a return for the taxpayer mm -hmm. in this case they were pretty accurate um can you just do that year after year or do they eventually say hey dude we're not your accountant uh they'll do it in time year after year but eventually they'll just start levying bank accounts or garnishing wages and that'll wake the taxpayer up and nudge him along to filing the remaining years or returns for the years that the state or irs did for him now in the year, let's just say the IRS is not overestimating, or the state is not overestimating, but they're picking the past years as they go. What would, would I be giving bad advice if I said, have the employee start filing from this year forward, and then let the feds and the state worry about the past and pay as they bring it up? Is that bad advice? I don't think it is bad advice, Tom, because with the IRS especially, there's a statute of limitations of 10 years. So say the IRS files a return for a taxpayer for 2018, the clock starts as soon as the IRS uh, files that return for that person, so the 10-year clock. If that person says, hey, I don't like the IRS's return, I want to do my own, and that taxpayer files his own return for 18, he resets the clock to start at 10 years from that point. So if it's not overestimated, leave it alone. But I want to know this. The, the statute of limitations, that's only if you file. So if this guy hasn't filed, let's say, in 30 years, literally 30 years, can they go back 25, 28 years ago? No, they can't. Generally, the IRS will only go back six years, Tom. Uh, states are different. Colorado, I've seen go back as many as eight but generally okay it's so let's say worst years. case scenario they go back eight years and he he pays this bill because it's due and then he just waits to hear from the irs or the state is it likely he'll hear from the state irs since the state wrote him a letter about these years yeah uh, i mean that'll sometimes flag the system of the IRS. Where so if he just starts filing from this return. day for from this year forward or 22 or 23 forward or 24 for whatever, if he starts filing and then as the past years come up, if they're not sadly over exaggerated, he simply pays them as they come up. Will that keep him out of deep trouble? Generally, yeah, so long as he stays current from this point forward, and if he gets billed for returns that the IRS previously filed, that would keep him out of trouble. That seems to me, you, correct me if I'm wrong, to be more logical than to try to go back and file eight years all at once. What do you think? I agree with you, Tom. So I'm glad we have him on to, to clarify this. Greg? Is he prepared to start filing for, let's say, he has another month to file for 2023? Is he prepared to do that? Or does he spend every dime or what? Oh, I think he spends every dime. But, uh, in, you know, and, and I think the sad part is throughout this recent period we're talking about, there were so many state and IRS refunds and credits, he probably hurt himself financially rather than by by not filing uh, he probably would have gotten money back but no but they um, can go back th what is it two or three years and actually amend those and if that's actually the case wouldn't he still get those i don't want him to call them rebates but the free covid money no i think those i think those required filing on time i did um, not know that yeah, i could be and the yeah, listener is correct right there mark and the time frame for claiming refunds is three years Okay, so yeah. I think the battle plan, Greg, is to have him go 23 forward and then wait for the axe to drop, the, the shoe to drop, or the hammer to drop, or however you want to put it, on the previous years. Here's the thing, okay, uh, Greg, what kind of work does he do? 
He's a sandblaster. Okay. You should probably have him adjust his deductions as well if he spends every penny. Oh, oh I, I have this conversation with him frequently, you know, because he lives his life in fear, and that's, that's distressing. Yeah, or you give him a raise. Like I, I, I hope he's not listening, but, you know. I, yeah, how well, long has he been I, with you? I, I, well, he's been with this company for a dozen years, and he's been with me since I purchased it. So I'm, I'm, I am willing to help him, and I'm willing to adjust his pay up to, to accommodate for the additional withholdings. But, yeah, I'm looking for the best advice to get him on the correct path and, and not have to... Well, it, like I'm going to tell you, shoulders. Larson Tax Relief for anyone with tax issues, and uh, I'll give you the number, and you can ask for Michael or anyone there, really, just to talk about it if you need to, but I think he's giving you solid advice. It's Larson, L-A-R-S-O-N, taxrelief.com, and the number is 844-LARSON-TAX. Thanks for calling 303-713-TALK. Waterpros.net. Call this number for savings with wonderful water systems that'll keep you healthy, your plumbing healthy. Well, not just your plumbing, but your home's plumbing. <laughs> yeah, Waterpros. You, you get the idea. Great water. Seriously. The lowest prices anywhere. 303-862-5554. <laughs> All right, boot it 30 away from this thing. The triple J for this artery first. today. Are you sure? Yeah, you top motherless. Uh, purchase any no firearm. Dirty, but I want your pretty of... face on camera. Don't delay. This deal is only during March. Triple J Armory has new rental guns and a state-of-the-art shooting range. Swing by Triple J Armory. Located Here you go with the Shaz man. Way in Littleton and at triplejarmory.com. I'm speaking with Mark Shemansky. He's the owner of GenesisTotalExteriors.com, one of my oldest sponsors here on the show. And what I love about Genesis is the name implies it, Total Exteriors. And they can do all of your storm damage on one invoice, basically, because they do it all, from the roofing to soffits, fascia, gutters, siding, stucco, windows, doors, decks, railings, painting, even outbuildings and more. But here's the deal. When it comes to insurance claims, there is a statute of limitations. Let's talk about that, Mark. Mark? Should be there. Somehow he's not. So? Can you hear me? Yeah, now Hello? I can, sir. Go ahead. Uh, sorry about that. Yeah, insurance companies are required to file a claim within one year. And the storms that we just had were coming up onto that one year mark, mark right now. And so now's the time. If you think you might have damage, you need to make that phone call soon. Have us come out and check out your property to see if you have any storm damage so we can get a claim started. Right. And the important thing is this you don't have to have the claim completed in every single detail, but you do have to file it to keep it alive. Isn't that the way to go? That is correct. You you have to at least get it started, and then we have up to three years to finish all the work. Good. Some insurance companies aren't as good about that, but we do have time to still do the work. Yes. And not only that, but if you didn't estimate it right for the first claim, you can put in supplemental claims. That is correct. And that, you know, insurance companies are in the business to make money, so they pay as little as possible. And one of our jobs is to make sure you're being paid fairly by the insurance company. GenesisTotalExteriors.com. Talk to Mark. I've known him for years. 303-679-8509. You bet. Take care, brother. Don't know why he wasn't there. <laughs> All right, you working your cameras? Yes. Shut up. He didn't touch anything. Shut up. Nothing's different. Home. So Adam's on his way to New York. Yeah. Um, okay, I just turned it on, Mark. All right, I'll go look. And it's going to boot up. Oh, well, tell me when all that's done. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, come, 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 come. Okay, here it is. It's on. It didn't pop up in your little screen there on the laptop. I don't know why, Mark. I swear to God, nothing, and, and I'm going to say it again, nothing changed. 
It's not up on the laptop? No, it didn't come up automatically. The feel world window is, but not the picture. And I'm getting a feed, and I can, I can get the feed into my laptop, so I know the cameras are working. All right, let me just try something. Hold on. anything you can do I see what this clown is doing bring it up bring it up there it is bring it up there it is are you back? <laughs> well, I see him. He has it up on the board now. Tyler could have been the one that broke this thing, you know. We never considered. This uh, ugly MF could have broken it. <laughs> Good oh, morning. my Trouble goodness. Shooter show. Did you want to talk to Tom in the game? Or is it Doc? Well, no, Doc's not here. He's in the studio. So. He is. Good well, uh, do you mind hanging on to ask? Don't run off. Hang on. I'll have you talk to Kelly. She'll get your name. Hang on. K. How. Okay. I'm back up on the stream. 303 713 talk 713-8255. With me, Tyler. Tyler, somebody wants to know. Already I got a text for you, so you're pretty popular. No, seriously, somebody wants to know on the text, and if you want to text the show, it's 57739. You got to put Tom in it, and then it comes to me. So if somebody's going to do their own windows, and you know, not, I'm not saying they're not going to ever hire you, but if they want to do their own windows, what's the best solution? What do you think? Yeah, so we actually sell a solution that we have designed here in Colorado. Um, for people who want to do it themselves. Really? That they can purchase directly from us. All they do is put it inside is a bucket. It, is it really different than... Uh, can you give me basic ingredients? Look we're not looking to, to take away business from you, but yeah. just give me some secrets. Some I basic wish, things that you like. I wish I was the chemist on it. Um, it kind of... How do I explain it? it? It acts almost like a ceramic coating on a on a car, pretty much in a way. So once it cleans it, it keeps it clean? A yes, little, it does. It keeps it yep, cleaner? All of, all of our guys use it. 24 7 7 days a week every day that we're operating all right let me put this stuff. another way if you're at home and you wanted to use something quickly and you didn't buy the stuff from you uh because i really i have no problem with them calling you guys for this and i'll give out your contact but if they want to use something at home what's the best thing at home they have now dawn dish soap and water Okay. Don dish up and water. We've used what that for vinegar? years. What about vinegar? Is that a myth or what? It's a it's a one hundred percent myth. They've said really? newspaper and uh, and vinegar. And it, it doesn't, doesn't work, work anymore. No, no, no. Okay. No. So uh, Dawn is good. What yep. about a, and a weak solution of Dawn? Right. You don't want it sudsy or what? What do you? Yeah, mean? it's like two two teaspoons inside a in a, in a five gallon bucket. You don't need. Oh a lot. my goodness. Yeah, you don't need All a right, lot. So rags or squeegees or what? We use squeegees on a day to day basis. I would always recommend squeegees. What about but, soft brushes? Mm, soft brushes can damage the window. The windows are very, very soft. I would recommend if you don't have a squeegee and mop, you use a you use like a surgical towel. Now you don't want to use. Uh, you don't want to try to get the the minerals off. Well, the minerals aren't going to come off with Dawn, are they? No, the minerals aren't. That's a that's special what restoration. You're thinking, huh? Yeah, that's a special restoration. I mean, type hard of water and well, nature's hard water can really put it do a number. One hundred percent. Thank you. And that's uh, Premier Window Cleaning and Pressure Watch. By the way, Denver, wait, wait we gave it another number. We, 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 we got another website. What was the latest one we got? Um, uh, TrustPremierWindow.com. TrustPremierWindow.com. Because I thought it was easier. The other one is DenverPressureWash.com. Yep. There's nothing wrong with that either because they do that. All right, let's go to the phone. So Rami um, wants to talk about... Uh, um, Something with uh, uh, his business. Go ahead, Rami. Yes. Hey, Tom. Uh, thanks for taking my call. Yes, sir. What's going so, on, Rami? We have uh, life insurance and short-term disability with Guardian. 
and we've been okay you have a years. life insurance policy with guardian okay and this is for our business so that's for our employees at the business okay so hold on so guardian provides insurance products for all of your employees well the full-time staff yes okay got it and we've been having trouble with them we we added you know they they dropped um, our short-term disability last year from now do you provide plan. both long-term and short-term uh, just short-term okay so you provide short-term disability and life insurance yes and they dropped last year they dropped the short-term disability from our plan and we took us a while to figure out why they dropped it they said um, we we have, we're a small company, so we don't have very many staff. And they said we went below their minimum. But that took, you know, several months to figure out. So then we tried to get short-term disability added back on. They added, I said, hey, can you, when you're doing that, can you add me, give me a quote so I can see how much it would cost to add me as an owner. The next thing we knew, they were billing us for adding me to the short-term disability. Hold on, but here's what it I want to know. Before that happened... When they dropped your disability, did your premium go down? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And then did they add back disability without you on it first? Uh, no. They added it with me on it. Okay. And did you put them over the minimum? Is that why uh, that happened? Or Correct. did they make a special Correct. exception? Yeah. No. They, I shouldn't have even been allowed, as it turned out. No, I get it, but the fact that you were yeah. allowed, did that put your number of employees over their minimum? Correct. Yes, it did. Okay, so then what happened? Well, I had other employees I was trying to add at the same time, and that's the part that was confusing. It's like I have two employees I want to add, and I need a quote from me. They added me and didn't add my other two employees. And then it started, you know, the rest of last year, us trying to work out, hey, drop me off the plan so I can have these other two people. Now, and when you said you can't be part of it, is that part of the law you say you can't be part of it? Or uh, what do you mean you can't be? Per their be guidelines. Per their guidelines. Okay, but there's, no, there's no law I know of that says you can't be. Correct. Correct. Yes. It was just, you know, that we weren't. Whoever, the underwriter changed our plan agreement. Okay, so where do we stand today? What do you need done? What I need is feedback so um, from you or advice from you. So we've now added another employee to the short-term disability, and they back-billed us for nine months of short-term disability. And I said – Now, that's wait, back-billed you nine months – for the people that you added saying they were there yeah. the whole time or nine why did they retroactively bill you because they said oh it's three months after the start date is what you know our contract says that we can we can back bill you okay so it would have been last april so when you added let me get this straight then when you added the new people they go back 90 days on each one you add? They go back three months after their, their start date. Why? That's what they say the plan is. So there's, you know, they well, have well, to be, But what's the purpose of that retroactive billing? I, I don't get it. Are you getting covered for that? Well, that's, my, that's the reason why I was having a problem. Are, with Rami, this, are they I saying theoretically? Are you saying, so if somebody, I, I got to get this straight. If somebody starts at the end of March and you add them to the policy, they go back and bill you as if they were working for you January, February, and March? The way it works is usually there's a three-month waiting period. So they're not, they won't cover anyone during that three-month waiting period. Got it. I get it. That, so it's really... It's really priming the pump, and I totally get it, and it's contractual. What they're saying is, we want you to spool up with three months of premiums before we cover the person. So, and also, they want to make sure that, and this happens a lot with disability, by the way. People get disability, and that's the last time they ever work. 
uh, or they go right off and, and collect it. So that waiting period allows them to ferret out the fakers. I get it. It's legal and it's been held up. I, I know this for a fact because we've handled these before. However, however, what I don't understand is this, I, and I want a clarification. So if someone starts April 1st, they bill you from January, February, and March for that retroactivity. But then does that mean that the person hired April 1st is immediately covered? So let me, let me um, clarify something. So they're not billing us during that three-month waiting period. They only start the billing period after the three month billing period. They say they're not eligible. I but get it. But after three months, are you retroactively billed for all three months? No. I, well, we haven't added because of the problem last year. We but, haven't well, added. Here's what I want to know. Rami, here's what I want to know. You just told me that they bill you retroactively. So do they or don't they bill you retroactively? They billed me retroactively for the period of time after that three-month start period. So the, we told them, or my broker told them the start date was January of 23. And so they went three months after that and said, okay, you owe us April of last year through February of this year. I get it. I get uh, it. Fees. Okay. I get it. So, but they, but they weren't technically named on the policy, but they're still billing you for it. They're still billing me for it, and I'm like, well, you didn't cover you, that person wasn't covered during that time. I, well, they I were covered. Started. They were February. covered. They were covered. Okay, hang but, on, and we'll talk about that coming up. I want to get Compass Insurance Group on. Hang on. I think you're missing. I I think I I know what's going on, and it's only because we've handled plenty of these. But we'll we'll tell you how to get to the bottom of it right after this. Okie dokie. All right. This hour from the Trajan Wealth K House Studios. Trajan Wealth, your trusted local fiduciary advisors. TrajanWealth.com. Now, impact traffic. This report is sponsored by Red Pilled America. Up on the northeast end of town through Commerce City, I-76 westbound after exit 9 for US-6. We've got a left lane closure for road maintenance and crash investigation after Monday's semi-accident. We're seeing stop and go back from 88, about five minutes of delays. I-25 north and southbound, it's easy driving through the Denver metro. If you're heading to DIA, I-70 east and westbound, flowing free as well. Fox 31 at Pinpoint Weather, a warm week ahead of us, mostly sunny skies, high 62 today, overnight low of 34. Tomorrow, sunny again, even warmer with a high of 67. Some clouds rolling in on Friday with a high of 63. The current temperature in Denver is 40 degrees with your impact traffic and weather. Mark Swan, 630 KHOW. This week on Red Pilled America, we uncover the secret cartel that blocks conservative movies from ever being made. We also hear from the late Andrew Breitbart on how to break their monopoly. Listen to Red Pilled America wherever you get podcasts. That's Red Pilled America. One thing that I love about doing commercials is doing commercials about people I love and companies I love. The Art of Granite. Mitch Fleury was here yesterday in the studio. What a great guy he is. Mitch says he came to America with $300 in his pocket and could hardly, he couldn't afford a place to live. I mean, he literally landed and just want in New York and wanted to do something productive. He went to work for someone doing counters. The rest is history, theartofgranite.com. He wants a chance to show you how good he can do and therefore he'll give you a quote on the phone. Then you get to choose whatever incentive you want from free edge treatment to a free uh, bathroom vanity to a uh, 25% off the job. He, listen, you gotta call him, get your price on the phone, find out about the Incentives 303 386 5919, theartofgranite.com. Another person that I've known for many years, Buddy and Karen, well, Buddy Mitchell and Karen Mitchell, so two people at Simply Floors Inc. And that's INC, by the way, simplyfloorsinc.com. You can go there and make your own appointment. They'll send an expert out, trained by them, to help you pick a floor, get you the best pricing, and expert installation along with great warranties. They stand behind it all. Now listen, they believe 
and positive experiences, no job too big or no job too small, you will love the way they do business. Simplyfloorsinc.com. Joe Lazara. I hope you never need Joe Lazara. He's a criminal defense attorney. Now he's got plenty of work. Joe says he will talk to anyone who's in trouble with anything, including DUIs, DWAIs, for those smoking weed or even on cold medicines, as some people get pulled over. Here's the deal. He's going to talk to you free of charge and give you some initial consultation. If you hire Joe, he does it on a, on a, on a flat rate basis, so you're not nickel and dimed every time the mail comes. Joe Lazara, L-A-Z-Z-A-R-A. Call him now, 303-429-6200, or put the name away, don't shop under pressure, 303-429-6200. Fabulous. Thank you. I would say May. Did we get Compass? I'm still Efforting. Get him on, God damn you. Oh, for God's sakes. God, it's like working for Ellen. How far bitch. Is, Ellen. <laughs> how far is uh, Laramie, roughly? <laughs> That's funny. You know, here's one thing I'm astounded with. Huh. I'm telling you. Here comes a bit of wisdom for everybody. Stand by. My oh, iPhone 15 Pro Max mm. has the most amazing battery life I have ever oh. seen. Yeah, I thought you were going to say know, dick pics, Eddie. I would say Eddie. May of 2018 is when she got her license. Wouldn't that be nice? The cameras need to finally... The, come on. They got a setting for food, for pets, for fireworks. How about a dick pic setting? Oh. Need a little help. Well, for, in your case, it would be called magnification. You can do oh, that. Oh, macro. Got it. Hang on. I'll try that. Biden begs for Latino votes at Mexican restaurant. That oh. is a headline. Don't they star the vote? <laughs> well, he's going to say, I'm your friend. And he you wouldn't don't be... vote for me. You're not Mexican. <laughs> That's a good one. Oh, shit. How about accidents in the last five years? Accidents? Babe, I mean, what? She had that little run-in in the... In the um, you have to ask her I, I, or look at our policy. I think she had that little run-in in the um, parking lot at... What do you call it? Chick-fil-A, remember? Because the kid's name was Miles and Who was did, really lady? hot. Who was did? it five years? I don't Daughter. know if that was less than five years ago. And then remember, she had that little fender bender in the drive-thru at, in Elizabeth at like the Sonic drive-thru or something. But uh, let's see, she's 22 minus 5, Who 17. Are you talking about? Adeline. Oh, oh Mark's you're Addie. shopping. How yeah, about our, you? What about My it? last accident was 2016, period, end of story. November 2016. And that sleet and ice. They go back 16 years. I'm just kidding. Mark's must be shopping insurance. We don't I need to insurance. know about Mark's perfect record. I hate insurance. <laughs> you know, I actually looked at my record, and I haven't had any tickets in uh, 10 years or more. Really? Not one. That's cool. No, it's because it's I... It's nice. I, well, actually, 15 years. No, Maybe more even. I, I'm telling you the truth. I haven't had... Now, I didn't say I haven't been stopped. Yeah. Your record's longer than the White Album. <laughs> oh, my hey. God. Here we come. Part of Common Spirit Health. 630 KHOW. An iHeart Radio station. Hi, Tom Martino here. 303-713-TALK-713. 8255. Let's talk. Uh, we're we're going to wait for com, Compass before I bring Rami back up. I want to get some expert opinion. But right now, I want to talk to Fernando. He has a comment on that other issue. So a guy calls in for his employee, says he hasn't filed taxes in dozens of years. Now he's getting a letter, and he's worried. And we gave yeah, him advice. Mama. We gave him advice, and the advice was just start current, stay current, and then as the other past notices come up, if they're not sadly exaggerated, just pay the tax. Go ahead, Fernando. 
Well, uh, Tom, uh, I just wanted to add some uh, an advice. Uh, his employee should file previous years because the IRS is going to charge it, uh, file a tax for him based on just what the employer reported paying him. That's right. So what he needs, yeah, but they're not going to give him credits that he might deserve. For like example, what? Maybe he's, like maybe he's married. Give him an exemption for his wife. Maybe he has kids. There's another exemption to reduce his tax. So they're just going to base it on him being single, uh, and he might deserve other tax credits. Okay, so, you're right. If if it, it turns it's out, wise for him to file previous years. And that's, I guess, what I meant when I said, if it's not exaggerated, and you don't mind the tax bill, um, he could do some math to see if he'd better be better off doing an amendment. He could do that. Exactly. Well, doing the original. Because he didn't file. Well, that's what, an okay, amendment. you're right. But it's an amendment. Yeah. Hold on. It's still considered an amendment since the state filed for him. Well, that's the thing. I wasn't sure if you were talking about the IRS or the state. But Right now matter. we're talking about the state. But I agree with you, Fernando. I agree totally. Fernando's message is this. Don't just let the past wait until they contact you well i believe you should but what fernando is saying is you still may want to file your own because your own may take into consideration other credits however there is a statute of limitations i, I was told if you don't file on time you lose those credits and you lose those incentives so really what you need to do is this if you get a letter from the irs what you need to do is check with someone who knows about taxes to make sure that it's not an exaggerated amount. If you can do better filing an amendment to what they filed, go ahead and do it. Uh, Fernando, thank you for that advice. 303-713-TALK, 713-8255. Connie, you called in, what, a few months ago? Connie, are you there? Can someone help Should me? be there. She should be there. Okay. Uh, Connie, I need to know where we're at. If you if you don't oh, say... Oh, I'm, I'm here. I'm okay. here. I had you on mute. Tell me what's going on. <laughs> okay. A few months ago, I called you. Do you know when you called me, Connie? I'm looking for your call. Uh, da, da, da. Just roughly. Maybe three months ago. Okay. So what's going on? And I, and I could have called in as Consuelo, because that's my given name. Okay. Um, the HOA that I was having a dispute with. Okay. And we had been down the road. This has been going on since last August. Okay. Had a hearing. Uh, they have fined me. Now, and tell me what the original the, uh, problem was with them. It was that they had, uh, we had a new president come into uh, on the scene here, and they went back into the deck pages and discovered that no one should be able to touch the common areas. Oh, I remember. You were landscaping in your townhouse community. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You were maintaining common property, and you were credited right. HOA fees for doing it. So instead of so, so instead of paying the full HOA fees, they said, because you're doing this landscaping, we're going to credit you. Then the new board said, no, no, not only do we want you to stop that, we're going to fine you for doing it. And they fined you 1400 Then you yeah. said, hey, how about 700 and we'll call it good, and I won't do it anymore. And then... Mm -hmm that you were going to go to mediation we did that what That's happened we're at. uh we had a mediation a week ago from monday uh i was able to talk for of course we did it through zoom and so i explained to the mediator what my situation was i gave her examples pictures and whatever i could throw in there which i've never been able to say and this was in her. early march yeah. Okay. What? Uh, okay. What was the result of your mediation? Was it a fair hearing? You think? Oh, absolutely not. I did all the talking. She went back. She was gone maybe ten minutes. She came back, and. Do um, you have to pay the she, full fourteen uh, hundred? Oh no! Now they want ninety three hundred from me. 
Wait, 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 wait what, what? 9,000, why 9,300? That's, re- why? The lawyer fees. They want me to pay the lawyer fees. You I went said, to mediation. Me. You offered yes. to pay 700 when it was 1,400. Yes. And now they want you, did they have a lawyer at mediation? Yes, they did. Are you kidding? How are you ever going to come up with 9,300? I'm not. So after that phone call, I called him, their lawyer, and I explained to him, you know, I said, I offered 500 in the mediation. I said, I can give them 500 and let's just make this go away. And no, and that's when they came back and they said, nope, they want 9300 from you. And I just kind of laughed. And, and so then I called him and I offered him $1,400. I said, I can do $1,400. That's all I can do. And my daughter so happened to be on the other line. We did a, a three-way call to him. And uh, she asked him why it's such a, you know, it's all for his lawyer fees. My question to you, Tom, so I did say I can do 14. He says, well, I'll present that to them. If not, we go to court. Well, you can't afford court. I don't want, no, I don't want court, but I'm not paying them, you know, not every time they look at him, he's, you know, the ticker's running. This is the problem with HOAs. This is what happens. Oh, I know. It's it, I'm it could well. go if you go to court it's going to go to 25 or you're going to lose your place, you know that, right? Yeah, and I'm not going to do that. I'm not doing it. I mean, I will do whatever. Well, what happens if I'm, hold on. The law's not always fair. No. It it goes by whatever the law is. I hate HOA laws and structures the way they are right now. They should have a limit on attorney's fees and all that. They punish people for trying to stick up for themselves. They punish you. And I think yeah, they should do. take the attorney's fees provision out of it because it punishes people. So I do too. if you go to and court, that- if let's just say they won't settle, I need to ask, I, I just want to talk about some really hard facts okay. right after this. Okay, you hang on. Do I, I owe a break, don't I, Shannon? Yes. All right, just hang on, 303-713-8255. Now, Impact Traffic. This report is sponsored by Our American Stories. Up on the northeast end of we town through get, Commerce City, I-76 westbound after God's exit sakes. 9 for US-6. We've got a left lane closure for road maintenance and crash investigation after on, Monday's man. semi-accident. There's no one at Compass is available. About five minutes of delay. I find that hard. At 25 north and southbound, it's easy driving through the Denver metro. If you're heading to DIA, I-70 east Did and westbound. They tell you they're not available. As well. Fox 31 at Pinpoint Weather, a warm week ahead of us, mostly sunny skies, high 62 today, overnight low of 34. Tomorrow, sunny again, even warmer with a high of 67. Some clouds rolling in on Friday with a high of 63. The current temperature in Denver is 40 degrees. With your impact traffic and weather, Mark Swan, 630 KHOW. This is Lee Habib, host of Our American Stories. On our next episode, we'll walk you through history as we tell the story of the sneaker You won't want to miss the next episode of Our American Stories. EuroplumbingColorado.net. That website's going to save you money. I don't care what you say. If you're looking for a water heater, EuroplumbingColorado.net will save you money. A 40-gallon tank fully installed, the old one taken out and hauled away, 14, no, $13.99 for a 40-gallon. Just $13.99. Some plumbers just call me and say, Tom, how is that even possible? And then a 50-gallon tank, $14.99. $14.99. No matter what size you want, they say they'll beat any price. They also do complete repiping and all kinds of plumbing repairs. 303-668-6844. Their thing is value and low prices. EuroplumbingColorado.net. Sheridan Auto Tech. Honesty, integrity, convenience, value, everything you want in an auto repair facility. That's why I love Uncle Kevin and his team at Sheridan Auto Tech. Dot com. They'll take care of you, and you'll never have to worry about being flim-flammed, ever. These guys are good. They even do pre-buy inspections for used cars and regular maintenance on newer cars. Yes, you don't have to go back to the dealer. Find out more at 303-455-7242. That's SheridanAutotech.com.
You heard from Mark Shemansky earlier in the show about what they do when it comes to storm damage and how you have one year to file your claim. Once they file your claim, then you can keep it alive for three years and then take your time to get it done. But you gotta get that claim filed. He can help you call him. He puts everything on one invoice because he handles everything on the outside of your house from roofing, siding, gutters, fascia, soffits, uh, even the, the stucco part, windows and doors, decks. Call Genesis totalexteriors.com a contractor I know and trust 303-679-8509 thank you alright can I loud. talk to him now to fill yeah, him yeah he's on alright Tom yeah okay so Jeremy is on vacation so he is unavailable Brian, what about Brian is, Brian is in a treatment appointment with his wife oh. and he's not going to be available for 30 to 40 minutes what about so Matt? I'm gonna call Rami back when Brian is available and get him back on. Okay. Matt is doesn't really care to come on. And what? in the meantime, what? we were able to bring Diane back from yesterday and get Jesse on from Honest Accurate Auto. So he's on right now, but he doesn't have a lot of time. Okay, I'm gonna get right to it. Thank you. Okay, perfect. Then I'm tell um Connie to hang on. I was gonna go back to Connie, right? Yeah. So. Tell Connie she has to hang on, and I will get back yep. to her, but i got to take Diane and Jesse. All right, Connie, just hang on for me, okay? We're going to get back to you as soon as possible. Okay, hold on. I'm sorry, Shannon. i got to pee. Good luck getting there. I know. Cover me. Oh! Huh? Oh my god, I got all the way through, went and checked my email. Now I gotta start over on this damn Geico bullshit. Oh. Mark, I'm gonna yes. send you a message. Please do. Read it immediately. Which way? Text. America. Ah, here we go. Denver's talk station. Online at khout.com. Hi, Tom Martino, your troubleshooter. 303-713-TALK, 713-8255. I'm going to go back to that townhome, uh, to the HOA thing shortly, but I want to go to Diane. She had an issue with a, a car that she, she just has an old uh, 94 Dodge Ram. I sent her for a second opinion to Jesse. Uh, Schillinger over at um, Honest Accurate Auto in Colorado Springs. Good people, and we trust them. And I wanted to know, is it a throttle body? That's what somebody recommended. And uh, Jesse, what did you find? Uh, that's a good question, because I don't know if I've looked at this. What's the last name oh, of the customer? Oh, I'm sorry. Maybe I was just going to get you on. 
maybe that's yeah that's true yeah yeah, I don't yeah think we've we were gonna bring mom, yeah we we're br- bringing mom as an expert i'm sorry okay and we already did have somewhat of an expert opinion she has a 94 dodge ram truck it it started okay. up one day but did not move and she, when she presses on the okay. gas it doesn't rev the engine it simply doesn't move but to one mile or two mile an hour no matter what she does so when she presses harder on the gas it still doesn't rev Mm -hmm. but it doesn't move faster and somebody suggested to her that it might be a throttle body is that right diane yes uh it doesn't even move in other words if you keep pressing the gas it eventually just dies and then you have to restart it. Right. And, and how much thing. did they it quote for that throttle one mile an hour. Well, I'm calling like internet places and stuff, and they're talking three, four hundred dollars. I I just don't have it. I'm a but that's a cheap. I'm, that's a cheap price. Yeah. What we were going to find out is a price on that, Jesse. But we're running out of time. I simply don't have the time. I can get you right back, or we'll call you back so you don't have to stay on hold. We have more coming right up. Bam. Hey, Thomas. Yeah. Thomas Martino. Yeah. Can you pull us off um, YouTube? Are we going to trust it? I don't know. Um, I mean, I did it before and you did It has nothing to do with what that oh. text was. All right, I'll pull it off. Hold on. Should be back up. <laughs> what? I like your response, oh. you asshole. <laughs> oh, you ass. <coughs> Call me Thomasina. I'm gonna <laughs> step away for a second. <laughs> Oh, I cannot believe I got to run through all this shit again. Son of a son of a. Okay, go for it. Hey, Tom, what do you want to do with Diane? Because Jesse is up. He's, he stepped out. God, I had to go back and add a car. I forgot about a fucking car we had, and then I have to start over. Oh. Are you applying for oil insurance? I'm just checking, Geico. Um freaking progressive hammered hammered us no claims no nothing why don't you let um compass do that they do but they don't have geico oh they handle they have everything i have now but uh my i'm worried about two things my homeowners but that's not till november and i'm really i cannot believe how much they want from my fucking auto now And then Suzanne's driving record. Holy moly. Holy moly. When I say bad. Whatever. Man. I'm fine. Can you say... Can you say I haven't even driven in like three years. Can you say driving school? <laughs> Since you drive us everywhere. <laughs> God. I will never do one of those driving apps ever, ever again, yeah, ever. Yeah, I know. That's bullshit. No tickets, nothing, but because of the stupid progressive thing, our kids doubled. Doubled. Really? 
went from a thousand or nine hundred and sixty bucks to over two thousand dollars with no accidents, no speeding tickets, nothing, based on quick acceleration and fast braking only. Wow. Gosh, dang it. How come it didn't find all my cars like it did the first time? Son of a bitch! Goodness gracious! Okay, I'm going to go to YouTube now. Hey, what do you mean by a loud buzzing, Sherry? Is it gone? Right out that door as you come in the studio. Go out to your right to your right as soon as you walk out. There's off duck cleaning. Talk about really clean and staying clean. No dirt attract. Hey, could you put a little more um, modulation on that? The best cleaning oh, agent in nature. Bitch. Call now. 303. Just a little more. On 5150 or 0resdenver.com. Can you redline it a little more, boost it a little higher? Okay. Did the microphone nice. tickle your throat when you Mark, did that? Yes. I have to be nice. So I'm saying I disagree with your assessment. Ah. What assessment? Of the overmodulation. <laughs> that's not my assessment, that's Shannon's. No, Shannon, it's my it's my Shannon, ears. It's not me. What? May I respectfully <laughs> disagree with your assessment? Thank well, you. Certainly. Thank you very much. It kind of sounds like he did it in a tin can. Well, if that's what you guys believe, you must be correct. Thank you. See, I'm turning over a new leaf. You are a new leaf. <laughs> I love it, Tommy. Is that, that new leaf poison ivy, though? That commercial would irritate Helen Keller. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. Ripped off. Bad news. You need advice so you don't have to lose. We'll come running just as fast as we can. Troubleshooter's gonna help the common man. This is the Troubleshooter Show. Now, Tom Martino. Hello! I'm Tom Martino. Been saying that so many times. And in relation to this show, I also say this. Give me your problems. We will try to solve them. Problems, questions, complaints, somebody lied to you, cheated you, or ripped you off. Give us a call. Because we like what we do. This hour brought to you by... Grossman Wellness. Dr. Grossman has kept me healthy and thousands of others and can do that for you too. For 249 bucks, you get a full assessment with a blood test and 
consultation to see where you stand. If you want to continue, you can. They have all kinds of programs starting at just a few hundred bucks a month to keep you in line, which includes drugs and supplements and blood tests. It's incredible. I got to get Mark on there. 303-233-4247. Okay. Now, we have Premier window cleaning and pressure washing with us. And I have a few questions. Um, somebody wanted to know, and I'm going to go to a wide shot, and then I go right to my calls. Um, they want to know, how much is this? You, you do window washing, but you have this, this solution that's pretty damn cool that you developed and um, with the help of a chemist. And right now, you sell that to people. So once you do their windows, they can stay on top of it, and it almost does a ceramic kind of bead coating on the window to help keep it clean. How much do you guys charge for that? Somebody wants to know. Yeah, so it's fifteen ninety nine, and, and that's for what a do they six, get? A concentration for that? Yep, it's a concentration. It's a sixteen ounce bottle. They can probably make forty buckets of this. Oh wow! So I mean, there's there's quite a bit there, and it's cheap. Yep, fifteen ninety nine. Okay, and they apply it like uh, with soft cloths. Yep, soft cloth. Uh, um, one needs to be damp. One needs to be dry. Wash on the 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 wet one. Wash on, wash off. Exactly. Wash on, wipe off. <laughs> Like the Karate Kid. All right, now let's go, let's go to the phones now again, and uh, we're going to go to Connie. And Connie, this is an HOA problem. By the way, I was just text texted some information here on something that says attorneys' fees aren't always awarded in mediation, but they're supposed to keep costs down. But you know, it, it, I. I'm a little, I don't understand how it's binding. Did they sign something at the very end to bind the mediation? Let's figure this out, okay? Let's figure it out. Connie, did you sign yeah. anything saying well, before? No, you would sign that before. It, was this binding arbitration, by the way? And was it arbitration or was it mediation? Oh, that's true. What was it? It was mediation. Well, mediation doesn't make an order. Was it arbitrate, like, like, is there an order somewhere? I mean, did they order you to pay this or suggested it? Generally with mediation, the ones I've gone to, and there's been more than you can imagine, you sit down, you discuss everything. If you come to an arrangement, then it's written up by the mediator. Everybody signs it, then the judge signs off. Right. That's right. Correct. Yes. Is and that what we, you did? We, we did the Zoom thing. We well, I, I understand this, but here's what I'm asking you. It's very mm -hmm. simple. Did you sign yeah. an agreement? Prior to the mediation? E either or. Did you, did you sign anything prior saying the outcome would be binding? I, I would have to find that paperwork. Did you sign I anything just, at all? Anything? Did I you did sign anything to, yeah. before mediation? Yes, I did, because okay. I had to put it we need, in. We need to have somebody look I, at that. Did you sign anything after mediation? No, I have not. Okay. I suspect that possibly what you signed ahead of time was a binding mm -hmm. agreement. It could have been. I don't know. I don't know yet. Okay? So you hang on, and we'll figure it out. But you got to send that to us. But here's what I'm going to say. Okay, and I, I just wanted to hit people between the eyes with reality for a reason. Time after time, laws come before the legislature in this state trying to curtail the powers of management companies, HOAs, and attorneys for HOAs. And it's usually defeated, which by the way, it baffles me because in a legislative climate with all Demo mostly Democrats, normally, and I'm not, I'm not taking sides with Democrats or Republicans, I'm speaking fact, normally with this kind of a government that we have now in Colorado, they're more pro the little guy than they are the big guy. Most of the time they make, in fact, ridiculous laws sometimes for the little guy. And you would think that they would be pro curtailing or they would be for curtailing the powers of HOAs 
and management companies and helping homeowners. But for some reason, they have not done it, which leads me to believe that they're in the pockets of HOAs and attorneys and management companies. Uh, we have Stan the HOA man who fights for HOA members all the time. He's on and he says, Tom, we, can't hard, we can hardly get anything passed for the consumer, for the homeowner. So here's what, having said all of that, I, want, I hope people will get involved with their legislature and find out what laws are there and then communicate with their representatives on what they want or don't want. Because right now there are several bills people need to know about. More on that later. But right now, Mary, here's what I'm going to ask you. If there was an... Oh, not Mary, I'm sorry. I, I got to get your right your call here. Um, and, and I want to talk about what just happened to you, okay? <clears throat> so, Connie, what we need to know is this. Let's say that you did sign barn, binding arbitration or that you do have an award sitting out there. They want you to pay of $9,000, let's say. Okay? Now... Mm -hmm. If you can't pay it, you don't want to pay it, what do you think will happen? They'll put a lien on my home. That's right. Then what do you think will happen? Uh, I'm not sure. They're going to mean, foreclose on your home. Sell my home. They're going to foreclose. Oh, they'll foreclose. Mm. You're going to lose your home. You do understand that they hold all the cards if... If truly you don't win, they hold all the cards. Correct. And every time you fight them, it adds to your bill. See, that is what I hate about HOA battles. Every time you fight them, it adds to your bill. Whether you win or lose, by the way. Whether you win Correct. or lose. Did you know that? Yeah. So maybe, and I'm not suggesting you do it. But maybe it might be considered that you try to get a second or something and settle with them. Right. Well, for, for, like I said, I did call him, and I did present it. I was going to email him this morning. But the question that, I, before I ever forget, um, I pay into an HOA. We pay our HOA fees every month. Right. My question is, there is a lawyer. We're, we pay for a lawyer to be on retainer through our HOA. Right. Does that have any effect on, I mean, I've literally paid you don't pay. To, you don't pay do for it. the attorney unless they bill time. There might be... Yeah, but we pay a retainer fee in our HOA due. No, I don't. I, I don't. Th and, and if you do, by the way, it's for normal business. What the law firm has That's done, they take a look at the yes. HOA. They took a, mm -hmm. take a look and have it come up with a retainer to keep them on retain. Truly, I'm going to tell you this when it comes to attorneys. They're not going to they're not going to manipulate normally. It's going to be a retainer paid to their trust fund and drawn against. But when a specific problem comes up, it's hourly. I'm sure the contract says all of that. Connie, if you're going to mm -hmm. try to attack the fact that you all pay and you shouldn't have to pay again, it's not going to work, okay? I'm just going to short circuit okay, that. I'm trying to save okay. you time and money. It's not going to work. Unless you're dealing truly with 100% crooks and thieves. And I know people will automatically, well, I am, I am. In this case, it is. But it isn't. Most of the time. They're, they're abusive, they're ridiculous, I can't stand them, but they're not liars and thieves, okay? They're just manipulating the law. So I think you're caught, and what you need to do is send us a copy of anything you signed, and we'll have our real estate attorney take a look at it. Brian Burns is with Compass Insurance Group. They do, by the way, free insurance checkups for the asking, which can keep you, which is a good deal, by the way. And uh, Brian Burns, 303-996-9000. I'd like to ask you a question, Brian. Yeah. Um, we have a situation I want to I go back to, and this is with um, Rami. He has a, a situation with disability insurance. Are you familiar with disability insurance for, for business? We don't, we don't write disability insurance. But I'll, I'll do my best to try to help. But you're familiar with how they usually are written. This is short term. So 
They're telling him that he added employees in 2023, right? He added them in 2023. And what they're telling him is, oh, no, actually, they started, I'm sorry, they started working for him in 2023. However, he didn't report it and add them to the policy officially until this year. Now they're saying, well, what was their start date? And they, they went back to the start date. They went 90 days forward, which is a grace period. They don't allow people to have disability in the first 90. And right. then, then said to them, well, you're going to have to pay from that date forward. And Rami said, but why? I just added them to the policy now. And their disability agent is saying no. Once they start working, 90 days later, they're covered. I have a feeling they have a, a blanket contract that even though Rami doesn't think they're named on the policy, the fact that yeah. they're a full-time employee makes them covered. I, have you seen policies like that? Yes, and I, that makes absolute sense to me. If that's, if that's how it works in their, as far as how their, their culture or their company uh, policy is, that then they would be on the hook. Even if they haven't added them yet, they're on the hook if something happens. So they're always going to go back to that, that uh, higher day plus 90. See, Rami, that's what I was suspecting. I, I'm not saying that's the case with you, but if you look at your master contract, I have a feeling you have a blanket policy that covers your people 90 days after they're hired. And, and uh, Brian, correct me if I'm wrong. Aren't there other kinds of, uh, like, workers' comp and stuff, other kinds of policies yeah. written that way? Yeah, and that's exactly, that's exactly what I was going to say. And it actually is protecting the business owner because if he doesn't remember to go add uh, employees when, when he hires them and they have a loss, he doesn't want to be responsible for these things. It, it protects the, the business owner in a sense. But, you know, in, in this case, he's, he's going to have to pay the premium because they were covered. I mean, I don't know that. I, I'm no, no, no. That's, that's what, what we're is, assuming. Is that right. possible? I'm going to ask our caller now, Rami, is that possible? <sighs> yeah, I mean, that's probably what it is. But you're not going to get story, you're not going to get out of it unless you cancel the policy. Well, I don't even think you get out of it. Then. Even if you cancel, yeah. they'll still come after. We canceled you know. the policy. He, here's the problem, Rami. That. Here's the problem. So many people say, "Why am I paying retroactively? I, I, we had no claims." But the point is, they had exposure, and insurance gets paid right. for exposure, even though. But, well, there were no claims. It's like taking Here's your car insurance. Example. If I went to Brian and said, Brian, I haven't had insurance in so long, excuse me, a claim in so long, I want a refund of my, pol of my premiums. I mean, they're not going to do that because they had exposure. Uh, who was talking? I'm sorry. Was it you, Brian, or Rami? Did you want to make a point? I... Brian, Another go ahead. example well, I, is whenever someone buys a... Is he cutting in and out? Is that what's going on here, Shannon? Help me out here. Yeah. Shannon? I don't know. Well, okay. I'm not hearing well, but every well, other word. Yeah. If I can jump in real quickly. And I know and this is kind of what I was afraid of, Tom, but I contested that once I found out what it was. And I said, well, we weren't even sure because of the other problems we were having with short-term disability. And they had canceled our policy the year before that we were going to continue with them. And that, you know, we finally got that resolved and then they back, you know, we got a bill for a thousand dollars. And I'm like, you know, if, if that would have made sense, I said, we'll go three months back, you know, or you can just yeah, start. But you don't get to rewrite forward. the poli You don't get to rewrite the contract. Rami, I want to ask you a question. Why are you offering short term disability to employees? That's almost a ticket to have them take time off. Yeah. Well, it was, as a Klingon, we started a business with uh, a partner, and we had had short-term disability. I just we want you to know something. Business owners, business owners that I... We got a break, brother. Okay, let's take this break, and then I'm going to tell you, business owners find it a scourge. More right after this. Thank you. Yeah. 
I couldn't tell if he was cutting out or waiting because he heard something. I, don't, I couldn't tell. You have zero access to your equity? <laughs> Stop. That's crazy. On a lot hey, did you need us to keep yeah. Brian on? Flows in and What's out that? Yeah, I want to so keep you, him on. I got it. I, only if, if you can get the phone to work. Well, you're cutting out right now. What do you want? LifeChangerLoan.com. LifeChanger Loan Corp. is a licensed Colorado mortgage company. NMLS 1863775. LifeChanger Loan Corp. is an equal housing lender. Let's talk to John Fuller about, we were just talking to Compass Insurance Group. Let's talk about insurance. John, I've, I understand that there are situations where an insurance company says, you know what? We didn't have this cover. Our client didn't have this coverage. They waived it. And so you can't collect on it. Have you ever had that happen? Happens all the time, Tom. We, we have coverages like MedPay and uninsured motorist and, and some of these add-on type type coverages that that do cost a little bit more and sometimes people waive them and don't want any of those coverages and sometimes it's completely legit but here's the deal sometimes it's not and we hold these insurance companies to the task of proving that these waivers were knowing did you know if you decide you don't want to have medical payments coverage on your policy they must have you sign a piece of paper saying I don't want this coverage and if later on down the road you get in an accident and we tell that insurance company prove to us that the client waived that coverage if they can't produce that signed waiver guess what they're going to be on the hook for that medical payments coverage and they'll have to pay every dime of what that that policy would have paid had they had the coverage so that's just one of the things that we do at Fuller Law we hold these insurance companies to the task of proving that the clients waive stuff and we don't let them get away from paying those claims and and providing that coverage that they should have been providing all along and by if the way help uh, you, since give us a call since we're on this topic john yes you do help people but let's also have them check now to make sure they're not waiving stuff they should have you you're a full believer in uninsured underinsured and of course medical payments which you have to waive and you just go and check your policy on your declarations page and make sure you have the right coverage and if you ever have a question about anything related to an injury with an accident john fuller has committed to taking only the number of cases he can personally work you get his cell phone number if you hire him he works on a percentage fee basis and he has constant communication notice the difference 303-597-4500-597-4500 myaccidentlawyer.co knh home solutions the name says it all right well knh of course does everything on the outside of your house and here's what else they do they do bathroom remodeling now. The oldest home improvement company in all of Colorado now does remodeling. K&H Home Solutions, remodeling of the bathroom, that is, I should say. They can do the shower or the toilet area, the sink, the whole thing, or part of it. And they will be happy to sit down with you and go over all of your options with no obligation. 303-421-7100, khwindows.com, 65 years strong. Hey, Red Rocks Roof and Solar has such an amazing program. If you are a commercial business and you are in a rural area or you're not even sure what area you're in and you want to look at solar, you can offset expensive utility bills. But more important than that, there are some programs that can pay for the system 100% or more that's right you can actually get a check as an incentive for getting it done and it pays more than the system costs plus you save money on all of your power imagine that redrocksrs.com you better give them a call this expires june 30th 303-704-2449 thank you hey Suze. Yeah, Tommy. Can you text me Brooks' cell number? I forgot. I, I, I want to answer a few more questions on that program I got. Sure. Thanks. Let's see here. Brooke White. Yeah. If I have to Share add something, contact. I usually add Rocky Mountain Men's Clinic, period, since I am a... Done. Satisfied, Tommy. There you go. It's in your um. It's in your text, Tommy. Thanks okay. You will get replies here and in your email. Oh my gosh. 
I got to get tired. I still have two and a half hours stink, dang it. <laughs> yeah, this is late for you, dude. Well, then, isn't it Thursday, Friday? I am two to six. So I'm not doing you guys. Jazzy is. And then I'm two to six. I'm off. I know that. So. Oh, and you're not here? That's why you're doing Dan. Calls. I know. I'm. I'm joking. Kelly says she's off. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> that door out in the hallway isn't as unhinged. You see the one that's laying down up there. Here we go. Denver's talk station, six thirty K How. Hi, Tom Martino, 303-713-TALK, 713-8255. Um, okay, so we will go to the phones now once again. And um, we have, uh, let's see, I think, Brian, um, let's go back to you. Brian, um, with coverages, yeah. you were going to say something on these coverages. Go ahead. I'm, I'm, I think we reestablished. Well, I was just going to reinforce we're going to reinforce the same thing you were saying. It's like when people call, um, you know, to tell me that they need to add a car, and they and I ask, okay, what date did you purchase it? And it was, you know, three weeks ago. I say, okay, well, they're going to add it on as of the date you bought it. And sometimes people are frustrated because they said, well, but I haven't had any claims. But the point is, if you did, it would be covered. So they always go back to the date that you purchased it. Exactly. So, Rami. Did you want to make any, uh, do you have any other questions? No, if you think, you all know, both think that we're going to need to pay it, that's fine. I'll, I'll take your advice. If your contract again, says but... that they're automatically covered when they uh, hit employment plus 90, then yes, they were covered. Yeah, but, but the part that just irritates me is, remember, I think I told you, they had terminated our short-term disability, which was the only part of the insurance I wanted. I fought like the Dickens to get it added back on. And then well, they if it was me, terminated, like you don't before. have to pay for any period that was terminated, but you said you had more than disability right. with them. So are they charging you for other stuff as well? The life, yes, they're charging me for the short-term disability and the life. But then again, they're going back to April. Of last here's year. what I'm asking so they you. Did... Here, here's just one question. On those employees in question, where they went back retroactively, was the disability policy in effect? When they reestablished the short-term disability policy after they terminated it, they... You know, it went back past April. So, yes, but everything, again, was retroactive. Uh, I, I'm, I just asked, here's all that matters. If that short-term disability policy was in effect, and if those employees were covered under that plan, you need to pay for it. Okay. It's that simple. If they weren't, if, if you didn't have a policy, you don't have to pay for it. Brian, thank you very much. By the way, if you need any insurance help, that's 303-996-9000, including a free insurance checkup, 303-996-9000. I want to go to uh, Rick, who's been waiting a while. Rick, what's going on with you? Hi, Tom. Thank you. I got a stupid question for you regarding a LG TV. Okay. Um, it's two years old. What's happening how, is... How old is, is it, Rick? It, how old? Like two years. Got it. It's a smart TV, big, nice one, whatever. When I turn it on, the little red light blinks on the bottom, and then anywhere from 10 to a half hour, I'll hear a do 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 and the TV comes on, and it works just great. Wait a minute. <laughs> it, when you turn it on with your remote, it takes that long to come on? Yeah. What? Yeah. Yeah, it's really weird. I even called LG, and they don't have a clue what's going on. I've no, okay. Then, so you t oh, wait, so you turn the TV on, and all you see is that red light blinking, right? That's correct. Now, and the screen the screen's black, right? And then you put down the remote and walk away, and it comes on ten minutes later. 
10 to a, this morning it was a half hour later. Yes. Okay. And then it works fine. But it, when you when you everything. first turn it on and it doesn't come on, what do you do? Do you click it again? Well, I did at first when it first started, but now I don't because I know I have to wait. Now, so like I, like, it like could said, be I just set the remote down. it could be a lapse in your broadband. Really? Is it connected to your wireless or is it wired? It is connected to wired with wired. a with a Cat Five a cable. No, with a with a coax. Oh, a oh, oh! So you ha do you have Comcast? No, I have Xfinity. Okay, okay. So you, which which is kind of the same. So so it's coax. Your cable comes in through the coax. Is that right? That's correct. Okay. Here's what I want to ask you: If you disc, sure. does this happen every time you turn your TV on? Yes. That doesn't sound right then. Okay. Have you rebooted? I got 400 TVs. Yeah, but here's what I want. Oh, and they all come on immediately. Yeah. Okay. Then then forget what I was going to say. Maybe okay. Weird. Dang. I thought maybe your Yeah, I thought maybe your listeners might have a clue. You know what? Know. Let's put let's put it out there and put it out on my text as well. People can text it text us at 57739 put Tom in the message. Do you know what? I would like to know if anyone has had this problem. Um, okay, so hang on. 303-713-TALK. I'm going to put that question out. Uh, does anyone have a delayed in their LG TV turning on after they click the remote? I can't imagine. If, I, we'll have some people with ideas, so just continue listening on that. We'll, figure, we'll try to figure it out. 303-713-TALK, 713-8255. Okay, listen, people. Um, Renew Home Innovations. You want to talk beautiful showers? Renew Home Innovations. We'll do it in two or three days with, listen to this, 72 months to pay. 72 months to pay with no interest. No one does that. They do it, and they'll do a beautiful, beautiful tub designed for your movements. No doors or showers, need, no door or shower curtain needed. And they have perimeter drains, grab bars, soap dishes, seats. RenewHomeInnovations.com, 303-904-2000. This is Denver's Talk Station with Michael Brown in the morning and Dan Kaplis in the afternoon, 6.30, KHOW, Denver. Now, Impact Traffic. This report is sponsored by College Invest. You're going to see some busy traffic through Commerce City, I-76 westbound just after exit 9 for US-6. Left lane closure for road maintenance and accident investigation on Dahlia Street northbound after Monday's semi-accident. I-25 north and southbound, it's easy driving through the Denver metro as well as up north to Fort Collins and down south to Colorado, Colorado Springs. Out west into the high country, US-40, both east and westbound roads are closed through Berthoud Pass. Fox 31, pinpoint weather mostly sunny skies high 62 today a warm trend throughout the week overnight low of 34 tomorrow high 67 the current temperature in denver's 40 degrees with your impact traffic and weather mark swan 6 30 k -Hub. it's tax season which could be saving season if you open a college savings account with college invest not only will you be saving for college you could earn a colorado income tax deduction for 2024 start saving today at collegeinvest.org Retirement Planning Center of the Rockies. What do they do? They help you plan for retirement. But more than that, it's not just a 401k, an IRA, although they can manage those for you. It's not just annuities, although they can do those. It's not just insurance. It's not just legacy. It's not just any one thing. It's a combination of things that will make your retirement secure and happy. Here's what you do. Call them and say and ask, what do you do for me? You see, if you're earlier in life, they can help you build a nest egg and then help you protect the nest egg to produce income. If you are approaching retirement, they can still help you preserve your nest egg by having different buckets, they call it safety, income, growth. And here's what they do. They can help you 
with a phone call. They'll meet with you by phone or in person, no obligation. rpcenter.com. I'm a customer. They're a sponsor, but I'm truly a client. 970-663-3211. 970-663-3211. Excel Roofing. I love the way Jay does business. The First and foremost, they don't take one cent until you're content, and that's true. You have nothing at risk with Excel Roofing and everything to gain with their heritage of thousands of satisfied customers. But here's the main deal, and I mean it's the main deal. You go to their website right now and get a price for your roof right now, and you'll get it within maybe a minute. Excel, E-X-C-E-L, as an excellent, excelroofing.com. Scroll down a little and put your address in. There's no obligation. Nobody's going to bug you. And you'll get a full price for your roof. Excelroofing.com. Thank you. But I think I can, yeah, if I go on to iHeart Guest. It's an error window. I was going to well, try Doc to... just told me he can't even get on the internet on our stuff. Why? Well, no, oh, that's no, the can... internet was working fine. Yeah, the internet, we got it right up. I'm, <laughs> I'm like, let me see if I can remote into my PC. <laughs> hey, Mark, do you remember mm, people ago, saying they could? Well, oh, yeah, maybe the internet. Maybe we missed Mark? something, Kelly, because. Yes. Uh, you know, do you recall people saying not able they could legally. And that it's the it's just, um, no um, internet um, register toys in South Dakota. On TSN Nobody office, cares. right? Yep. Le say that again. We had a call last week. Maybe reset the uh, Somebody Wi-Fi? said that they called the state that? and asked them about registering their cars and their toys, like motorhomes and stuff, in South Dakota, in the state. And somebody from yeah. the Colorado Department yeah. of Revenue yeah. told them, yeah. oh, it's completely fine and right, legal. No, you're not supposed to do that. Well, I know, and but we had somebody call us on Friday to say it was okay. Well, I mean, I don't care what they say. We all know that's not true. And they <laughs> said they did it, but what I want to know is, I want to know what I did with that call, damn it. i got to find it. It was uh, on Friday would have been what day? Let's see. Now, if you actually kept yeah, the vehicle there, it right. wouldn't matter. Right. A heart radio we station. Get it right. Hi, Tom Martino, your troubleshooter, 303-713-TALK. We have plenty of people that want to weigh in on this uh, LG issue. The guy says he clicks the remote, the red light blinks, but the TV doesn't come on for 10 or 15 minutes. Then it comes on and works fine. Now, I'm getting texts, and some texts say could be a firmware update he needs, and somebody else says it could be... Um, the remote needs batteries. I don't know why that would matter. Why would it take 10 minutes? A power supply could be going bad. It's got to be user error. So, John, what do you think? John, you got an idea? LG, can you hear, can you hear me? Yes, sir. 
they, so I used to fix TVs for a living, and, and LG's probably one of the cheaper parts inside of those TVs. They call it the PC board, PCB. Those things are notorious for having botched firmware updates. You can get a flash drive and try and manually get that off of their website. But if it's consistently happening and it's getting longer every time, everything's controlled by that board inside of the TV. So probably going to need to end up replacing that part. And depending on the size and the cost of the TV, it's going to be more expensive to repair it than it would be. Now, how do you know this? I fixed TVs for a living. I worked for Geek Squad. I did repairs for okay. For and so, so that part, do you know what it costs? Uh, it depends on the TV and the size of the television. If it's a lesser model, they're about a hundred to one hundred fifty bucks. Some of their more high end TVs, they could be two fifty to three fifty. And how long does it take to replace it? Uh, a couple of screws come off the back of the TV, and if you're technologically inclined, you can fix it in about an hour. And what is the part called? It's called the PCB or PC board. And, and is, is it just for the remote? No, it's, it's for the television itself. The remote has nothing to do with it. It's just so the, if he went up and brain. hit the power button, the same thing would happen? It should, should have the same effect, yeah. Thank you, John. I appreciate your information. Let's talk to Jim. He says he might have an answer. Go ahead, Jim. Well, hello there, Tom. Uh, what it is, is it probably in the power supply board. What the guy was talking about, the PCB, is called the power supply. And the capacitors go weak on those and corrupt the DC voltage to all the digital stuff. Ah. That causes it to be delayed in coming on because it's not reading the digital information correctly. So what it is, it's called the power supply. Uh, about $100 is about right for a part. And uh, it just requires taking the back off. It's generally right in the middle of the TV. And you just pop it off, plug a new one in, and it should be good to go. Wow. Do you do repairs too, Jim? Uh, yes, sir, I do. Who do you do it for? Uh, I do it for myself. Uh, I'm a self, uh, I've worked for Circuit City for many years before they went out of, uh, went out of business or bankrupt. But, uh, yeah, you I've know, been doing Circuit TV City, I had a nickname for Circuit City. I bet you What did. was it? <laughs> Well, let's put it this way. I can't say it on radio. I got gotcha. The second word rhymed with city. Uh, yeah, they were pretty bad on the, uh, on the uh, associate side as well. They were a uh, pretty messed up company for a Circuit while Circuit so, Yeah. Okay. Hey, Jim, do you have your own company that you do TV repairs? Oh, uh, I did. I don't do it anymore. I'm kind of retired. Okay. I did, uh, did all kinds of work uh, for high-definition television and stuff Damn, like that. Damn, it would that. be nice to know somebody for our yeah, referral list who does stuff like that because, you know, people don't want to just drop something off at the – or have Tom, a geek Tom, squad. Go ahead. Give, give listeners some information real quick. On all these digital things like all the new stuff, all the digital stereos and televisions, when you start having intermittent weird problems like that, it's generally a capacitor. It's going bad in a power supply mm -hmm. and dry up and go bad over time or over heat. And once you replace those, uh, I bet you I'd go over to that guy's house and replace a couple of caps in, uh, in his power supply board, take it to component level, and bada, bada, bing, I'd have that TV up and running. Jim, I, see, the, the days of having people that can do this are going away. Oh, I know. I'm pretty rare breed, aren't I? Yes, you are. Honest to goodness. Thanks, Jim. Appreciate it. 303-713-8255. This is what's important, people, to do things the right way. Like, for example, Frank Duran, the real estate man .com. He'll do things the right way. He will come in and tell you, free of charge, even visit you, measure, take pictures, check the neighborhood, the comps, tell you what your house will sell for. There's no obligation to list. Truly, there is none, and he will do it personally. 303-920-1622, Frank Duran, the real estate man .com. Now, Impact Traffic. This report is sponsored by Wendy's. Pretty easy driving throughout the Denver Metro and beyond for the 11 o'clock hour. I-25 north and southbound showing highway speeds through town. If you are leaving town on the south end, you are going to see a stall in the left lane, I-25 southbound at Ridgegate Parkway. Back to town on the northeast and I-70 westbound. Left lane closed for road maintenance 
after Monday's semi-truck accident. That's right after exit 9 for US 6. Fox 31, pinpoint weather, mostly sunny skies, high 62 today. Warm throughout the rest of the week as well. Overnight low of 34 tonight, tomorrow high 67 degrees. The current temperature in Denver is 40 degrees. With your impact traffic and weather, Mark Swan, 630 KHOW. Right now at Wendy's, kickstart your morning with a new breakfast burrito. With six strips of bacon, seasoned potatoes, fresh cracked eggs, and more. All in a warm flour tortilla. It's a complete breakfast in one hand, ready to go anywhere you go. Only at participating U.S. Wendy's. Hey, I like the fact that a lot of people want to do do do-it-yourself stuff or they want to shop around. Do it. But make sure you call Made in the Shade when it comes to window coverings. Because it won't cost you anything and there's no obligation. They'll come over with a design consultant and measure your windows and make suggestions. If you like what they say, they price it out. If you accept it, great. It comes with full professional installation and it costs you nothing to find out and they're good people made in the shade it's denvershades.co compare first before you take on that task denvershades.co john fuller he's a personal injury attorney that believes in personal attention for real in other words what john fuller does is talks to you free of charge before you even hire him if you do hire him He does it on a contingency fee, which means a percentage fee basis. And here's the deal. You can call him free and talk to him. And then if you do hire him, he has pledged only to take the number of cases that he will work personally. He'll give you a cell phone number that you can call or text at any time. And he'll help you with your personal injury personally. Myaccidentlawyer.co. Myaccidentlawyer.co. You'll notice the difference from the first phone call. Why? Because you're not going to get a call center or an intake committee. 303-597-4500. That's 303-597-4500. By the way, it it occurred to me when I was talking about Grossman Wellness and how wonderful it is. I don't think I gave out the number, but it's grossmanwellness.com for a small fee every month. Uh, They keep you healthy, includes drugs and, and prescriptions and supplements and blood work. Everything's included. 303 233 4247. Okay. Well, I think in the summer, though, but she actually does a pretty nice job for not being a professional. Well, I couldn't believe it. You know, they still um, use books. I thought everything was online now. You know, like the. Oh, yeah. Um, but no. Haley had a. Um, the place a I go to, book. pencils and in. <laughs> um, so Haley had to buy a biology book this last semester that was $475. I'm like, Who's gonna afford that? And of course, you know, when I was going to school, it was all used books because we. Used oh, to you're talking the, about her for yeah. school. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Addie's yeah. books are upwards of fifteen hundred bucks. Well, yeah, law books. Yeah, those are those are pretty pricey. But I used to have used books. They don't have used books anymore. Uh huh. I think that's the so, price after used for Miss Press. Like she gets used when she can. Yeah. Um, but it's, it's kind of messed. Yeah, it's a books are expensive. All right, you still can't she order them on Amazon though? I know some well, are. So this particular biology book was written by the professor. Oh yeah. So mm-hmm. there's like an ulterior motive there. Um, yeah. So I don't know what to do if the Wi-Fi is not. Let me look. I'm seeing if it's connecting now. We could be just having an outage because. Let me log on to well, our Comcast go, account. Go tell me what fine. lights are on on the modem. On the Comcast on the, on And I'll log on did to Did you see. reset it? Yes. Good. Comcast. So everything is on, but the 2.4 gigahertz is um, blinking. I'm logging on to our uh, Comcast business to see if there's an outage right now. Did you try to reset the camera again? Um, I can't get into the computer. So you computer. can't because of the... Can't get into the laptop computer with no... Um, I'm logging on, Kelly, to okay. see if uh, there's an outage. Outages. Where are they? God, this day. <laughs> Why does it still keep breaking? The storm. All right. 
it, Shannon. You're almost there. Nope. Two more hours. Oh, you're staying with us? Yeah. Oh, good times. I thought you were out at 12. Who? Shannon. Um. Hi, Tom Martino. Your troubleshooter, 303-713-TALK, 303-713-8255. John, uh, sorry for the wait. What's going on with you, John? Which John are you talking about? You. Okay. Um, how much of the letter that I sent to your station did you read, or should I just go over the whole story again? Well, just because we have a radio show and we like people to hear in case they have similar problems, I'd like you to just tell us your story, and then I'll ask questions. Okay. Um, I had a three and a half year old bull terrier and, um, I had a normal vet here and, uh, in the morning he was throwing up at four o'clock. So I, he was, how old did how would you say he was? Three and a half. Okay. Got it. And perfectly healthy. Yeah. Heart check, kidney check, everything he was top notch. So I uh, went to my normal vet, saw a reception I wasn't used to. She said, well, why don't you go to your regular vet? And I go, you guys are my regular vet. And she said, well, today's surgery day. So she said, let's go to, why don't you go to this other clinic? They used to own this clinic, and it was a referral. So I went down there. They called me about 12 o'clock, and they said, um, well, what's the name of the vet? Uh, okay, uh, did you actually take your dog in? Yeah, I went, I went to the referral, and this was about five minutes away. And I went there, and I said, yeah, he's been throwing up, and he's eating grass, and uh, typical obstruction from what I've heard. Did you take the dog never... with you? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. yeah, absolutely. So and, the dog, uh, you went to the vet with the dog, and they examined the dog. Uh, not the first one. They were so busy. They no, I get that, bro. Dog. I don't care about okay. the first one. All I care about is the okay. second. The one that you did take it to a vet that examined your dog, right? Yeah. Okay, yes. keep And I going. was at work, and they called me up, and they said, um... We found nothing on the x-ray, which is the big buzzword right now. Um, he said he probably has an upper GI irritation. They gave him an anti-nausea. I said, how was he? He said he was fine. Picked him up. He was doing fine. Came home. He was drinking water. And then he was throwing everything up. He wouldn't take his food. He, they gave me antibiotics. He wouldn't take anything. So all night he was throwing up. I put him in the crate. Um, I got him out of the crate, and he could barely get stand getting out of the this crate. This was the and next said, day. Well, this was, yeah, this was the next day, early about 6 o'clock in the morning. Got it. I said, we better get you the vet. So we got him in the vet, went through a snowstorm out here. Did you go to the same vet again? Exactly. Go ahead. Exactly. And so um, we talked to the front reception. I said, hey, he's not doing well. Right. And they said, well, we'll try to get him in today. I said, you need to get him somebody out right now. So I don't know if he's going to make it. Got it. To the appointment. Right. So they said, well, let's get you a room. So I'm sitting there about five minutes, get a room, go out to the car, which is right in front of the door, open up the door, and he's dead in the car. <gasps> oh, my God. Oh, no. Yeah. What happened? Yeah. Um, so it's been a rough week, Thomas. Oh, little my upset, but, goodness. Uh, great. Listen, I know how important so, that could be. So when you went out to the car, he was dead? Yeah, he had died on, we think he died on the road down there. It was about a half hour drive, and um, I said I yelled at it. I said I I think he just died, and so the doctor came out. She put the stethoscope on him, and then she said she shook her head, so cry like a baby. And um, so I talked to my other group. We, it's a big bull terrier group. So what uh, we figured out is the X-ray only detects hard objects, bone, anything, phallic, stone, things like that. If a dog eats a stone, that's, that's what will pick it up. They didn't do a barium, which is they give the dog barium. and that's then they for, look at the, it through, That's for intestinal blocks. Yes, yes. And they could find it out on an X-ray, but they didn't, they didn't do a barium, and they didn't do an ultrasound because they're, quote-unquote, untrained on how to do an ultrasound for obstructions and... Mm -hmm. It, it was a, it's just a disaster because they didn't even give me the option of, would you like us to keep him overnight and observe him and see if we have to maybe do an emergency surgery on him? Do you want to um, basically go to a better vet who can see soft obstruction? Because it was a, what they did while I was waiting there. She said, should we find out what it was? And I said, yeah, go ahead. So they opened him up in the other room. And they found the obstruction. They didn't open it up. They didn't tell me what it was. They said they didn't want to. It's kind of an unclean thing to do in the middle of the room. So anyway, and what do, said, what did it turn out to be? It was some kind of, it could have been a 
part of a toy or something, but he wasn't much of a chewer, and I never never thought about that. Well, when I so was he had a blockage, that, right? Yes, he had a. It wasn't an uh, uh, GI obstruction; it was a blockage that they used an X-ray to find. I didn't find it. Sent me off. Well, hold on. I, I get said, it, bro. You got, and then you yeah. came back. They in the autopsy, they found it. They found it. Yeah. But here's yeah, but what I want to know: John, under under normal circumstances. Right. Would an X-ray show it? No. It's what would they have had to do to find it? They would have had to have a, um, somebody who was qualified to use an ultrasound. Not uh, like they use ultrasounds for fetal. They, they check for puppy numbers and, and health and things like that. But I asked the doctor who but owns Ron, the clinic. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Jo- John, yeah. I, I need, yeah. we need to get deeper into this. You're, you're, you're kind of... There's certain things you're glossing over that I need clarification for. I want you to hang on because there's a fine line between malpractice and not. And then also there's a question of damages. So hang on. I'm Tom Martino. More coming up. And I heard Deputy Doc wanted to chime in as well. 303-713-8255. I think. Give it a couple more minutes. Oh, stop. Kelly? Don't go touching anything in there. Everything looks good now, it says, so it just needs a minute. That's out again. I wonder if she unplugged it. This thing. Oh, you think so? Might be because it was working fine, and then uh, and then all of a sudden it wasn't again. It worked for like twenty five seconds. <sighs> Loading the modem restart process. This may take a few minutes. Oh no, it's working. Oh, here I am. I'm live. <coughs> Cancel. Are we good? Cancel. Yeah, it looks fine now. Hey, it's. Hey, Kelly. She 
she can hear me. Probably not. It's all good. You know, ChatGPT told me the same thing those other techs said. What's that? A power supply board. Hey, Kelly. Looks like it's... Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah. It looks like it's working fine now. The video's back. Everything's fine now. All right, let me go. Oh, you don't have... Kelly. Whatever. Whatever. Technology. Technology. It's fun. Okay. I'm just an unfrozen caveman. Now, was it lawyer or attorney? Lawyer. Unfrozen caveman lawyer. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I the Geico. <laughs> Your world confuses me. <clears throat> Still hard. Oh, is that SNL? Mm-hmm. Okay, now I have Excel. Let's see what that looks like. Chris is making my life so much easier. And let me tell you, babe, I'll say it again. This thing makes my life what is so it? much. This monitor oh. is making my Tom life Martino so show. much easier. You have no idea. I feel bad I sort of dismissed you at first. I was like, hmm. Let's see if her credits. That's weird. Oh no. Oh, these are uh, all February. Is that Denver region? This is Denver. Did you have two different orders in February for Denver region? You probably did, didn't you? Say it again, babe. You probably had two different orders in Jan- February for Denver region, or do you think you only just had one? I know January squirrely. I got that all worked out. For February? Yeah. You'd have to look. <clears throat> Send me the spreadsheet for... Uh, the final spreadsheet for February, please. Okay, okay, well, give me a couple. Can you give me a bit on that, or do mm-hmm. you need it right away? Huh? Uh, I'd rather have it. Right I, don't, I don't even know if I have it finished yet. Let me look. No, for February. Oh. <clears throat> for February. Okay, the final spreadsheet for February. Mm-hmm. You guys do this every day? You're still on at this time? I'm normally not here now. Still what? Are you You're still away? on at this time? Usually I go away, but I'm not yeah. going away. You're lucky now. Ripped off. Bad news. You need advice so you don't have to lose. We'll come running just as fast as we can. Troubleshooter's gonna help the common man. This is the Troubleshooter Show. Now, Tom Martino. Hi, Tom Martino here. Welcome to the show. 303-713-TALK, 713-8255. We're here to help you solve problems, answer questions, take complaints. Premier window cleaning and pressure washing your guests today. We do have some questions on the pressure washing part. 
Do you even bother doing pressure washing during the winter? They want to know what 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 is there to do? We operate twenty four seven, three hundred and sixty five days out of the okay, year. Okay, so what is the what is the benefit of pressure washing parking lots? For example, I mean, I, I, it's pretty obvious probably to people that own parking lots and management companies. Is it to, to to what is the main reason they do it? Is it for pedestrians or cars or what? It's mainly just to get all the debris out of there as that builds up over years and years and years of driving on all the dirt, soot, stuff like that builds up on the ground. Everything has to be maintenance so at when, some point or another. When you do pressure washing, do you do it primarily for commercial parking lots? Is that your main? Yeah, so we do a lot, a lot of parking garages throughout the year. Parking garages, garages parking lots. lots. What about uh, buildings themselves? Yeah, so we also wash buildings as well. Um, we're going to bring some drone technology in so we can go up and do like 30-story buildings and wash the buildings down Ooh. in Denver and stuff. Wouldn't that be, wait a minute. So the drone would like pick the hose up? Yeah, so we actually brought one in last. Yes, yeah, so no we brought one in last year, and we uh, we did the whole VA out in Aurora. So you have to fly the drone, and what I want to know is how does that drone resist the pressure? I would not be able to answer that, but, but it, it, does, does it, it, it does it. So you were able amazing. to take a drone up the side of a building while yep. spraying high pressure. Yes. No, Mark, did you know that? I did not. Oh, how would it? How would it resist the pressure? Doesn't that sound like it has to be one hell of a strong drone? Yeah, I think yeah, it, it just it's overcame like Newton's the third law of motion. What's that, Mark? I mean, uh, Doc. I said it overcame Newton's third law of motion. <laughs> That for every action right. is an equal and opposite reaction. Right, it has to be more powerful than the reaction. But um, what about? Thank you, Captain Obvious. I'm going to change his name. Um, by the way, though, it it truly is remarkable the drone technology. Do you have that now? Yeah, so we have it right now. We're working on um, being able to so, inject solutions and stuff. But so we, wait a minute. Not only is it carrying the damn wand, but you have to have the hose. So it must be like a light, a lighter weight hose, right? Yeah, Obviously. so we use an ultra light hose. It weighs nearly nothing. Um, so when we fill and up the with water. And the wand is pretty light too? Yeah, yeah. So it's, no, the wand's actually built into the machine. So into the it just drone. has a, yeah, it just has a little nozzle that so, comes so out. So you you hook the hose to the drone. Yep, you hook it up to the bottom of it. It flies up and then it kind of makes a 90 degree. Does it degree. spin? No. Nope, it, it it's pretty so we can so we can we can maneuver it however we can be. We have to be about 10 foot off the building. Um so Gosh. we just we just set the set the height and just let it go from there. So it's so, really and then cool. it's automatic. Yeah, it's really, really cool. Oh, man, I got to see. I, I really have to see this. I, I, di I didn't even know they existed. Yeah. Uh, say, try to give me an, an internet link to look at that. Um, I don't know if other people knew about it. Mark, have you, he said he hadn't heard about it. Mark, do you still fly your drone? I haven't flown it for a while. Um, no, really? I really haven't. Okay. Now, do you do, Tyler, do you do yes. residential power washing, and what would that be? Yes, we do driveways, sidewalks, patios. Um, what else is there? Driveway, garages, patios, garages, house washes. So when do you do the windows, it. you can do all that. Yep. So we knock off all the all the dirt, debris. We have a lot of construction going on here in Colorado. So getting all that dirt, debris, gunk off the side of the houses on the stucco, stuff like that. We use house washing. Trustpremierwindow.com, um, and that brings you up pressure washing too, or or Denver, uh, co pressurewash.com, and it's seven two zero. Nine five three zero zero seven eight. I'm gonna put up a link if people want to see that uh, drone. I'd love to see it. Now yeah, John to wants to talk about uh, his dog, and this is sad. This is really sad. And we've had similar calls about stuff, but a three-year-old uh, bull terrier was throwing up. He took us to a vet. They did an exam and some X-rays, and said we don't find anything. Here's some meds. He takes the dog home the next day. He could hardly move or stand so went back to the vet and the dog died on the way apparently and they did an autopsy and they found something lodged where john uh just in his intestinal tract okay he now, didn't tell me exactly. now um yeah what i want to know is how would they have found it well you, you usually you can tell this a is doc talking go ahead yeah doc. um a blockage usually you can see on on an X-ray. There, there are patterns. Why of, did their X-rays not show it? I don't know. It, it might have been a misinterpretation of the X-ray. And it, it, you know, I, I'm just talking about the humans. Uh, I, well, I know, know, but it wouldn't be any different, would it? John, John, you mentioned mm -hmm. that. Here's what you mentioned. You said an X-ray would not have shown 
an intestinal blockage. Who told you that? No, a soft blockage. It's not dense enough for the x-ray to pick it up. That's why they would use barium to watch it go down the intestinal tract and watch it stop. But but hold on. Would it be... Okay, but do they... If they do an x-ray and they can't see Mm -hmm. anything obvious... Would would normal standard of care call for a barium? Yes. Why? Yes, that is our typical thing. Well, because oh, if they're if their their tools are <laughs> ultrasound with a trained technician or, or doctor, X rays or basically an exploratory. You so and you believe in a nutshell the vet did not go far enough in their right. test in their diagnostics. And the thing is that what I've been advised of is that he was he took Syrian, which I guess is an anti nausea. Syrian masks his nausea, so he appeared to be everything I always thought thought he would be. And then as soon as the Syrian wore off, is when he started trying to drink water, his nausea reemerged, and he just couldn't hold anything down. And that was something I was hoping that the option is that if you can't handle, and I'm, I'm not trying to sound like a movie, but if they were not able to do a full diagnostic on JoJo, then I would think they would send me to an emergency care and say, this is out of our hands. X-rays will only go so far, and they would have sent me off to Mercy Clinic. I would have had them opened up. Okay, what I'm going to do is take you at 100%, for argument's sake, right. 100% right. Let's say they didn't go far enough, Mm -hmm. and they didn't refer you, and they made a mistake. Let's just say that. Yeah. Here's the major problem we have. The major problem we have. What do you want? I knew you'd ask me that. Um, okay, I was unaware of this particular situation. If I would have sourced my other people, I probably would have been told. To we're, we're not going to change the industry, just so you know. We're not going to change. Right. Okay, and, go ahead. And I don't want it, but I want people who own dogs, who may have a chewer or a swallower, to be aware that when they hit the vet, that the, that there's options they need to go through, and not just basically to follow what the vet says. Sometimes, you, obviously, with this situation, go with your gut, because that poor little guy, he couldn't tell me where it was. He couldn't tell me what it was. So I should have gone and said, okay, I should have known what they couldn't do, and then I should have left and gone to emergency so, clinic. So, but do you think, moment, I guess. And, and I'm not trying to bait you, because we, we have this discussion and when it comes mm-hmm. to animals, they're considered personal property and valued very low. Um, only one court recently, when I say recently, within the last five or ten years, ha- did rule an additional pain and suffering damage, which is not common. But what I want to know, oh. what do mm-hmm. you, th- like, and again, um, you're not even trying to get damages, you know, Tom, the weird thing is that I go there and I pay my $371 on Tuesday for a bad diagnostic. And then I drive them back because they didn't do the right job. They charge me 300 something dollars for the cremation. And I'm thinking, you know, you guys, yeah, it's kind of nervy. Too. Okay, well, did, they, did you ask at least for a courtesy credit? No, I have not asked for that. Well, we should ask so before I, we diss them. And, I, I, you know, I think at the very least, look, if they truly did screw up and it's beyond the standard of care, if you could get another vet to say, automatically, when a dog comes in like this, we would have done an X-ray, and then we would have done a, well, excuse me, the X-ray is, barium is an X-ray, right? It's just with the added barium. Is yeah. that true, Doc, yeah. or not? Oh, sorry. Yeah, that's true. Okay, so so it's not that they did the wrong diagnostic procedure. They didn't use barium. And is barium a, a highlighting fluid, Doc? Is that what that is? It shows up I'll in the yeah. x-ray? Doc? Mark, can you do the Sorry, defibrillator yeah. on him? Barium shows up as bright white when you swallow it. So you can trace the the uh, the course of the, of the uh, barium through the intestinal tract and see if it flows all the way through or where it stops. And if it stops or surrounds something, that could be a soft blockage. Absolutely. Okay. You know, I'd, John, you should ask, you know what, before we, before we just dismiss this, you should ask on the record a few veterinarian, veterinarians here and, and say, look, 
is this normal standard of care not to do the barium? Or would you have done the barium? If you can get two other vets to say we would have done barium. How does Colorado see damages on a dog these days? Well, I'm not, that's not where I'm going right now. But they did have one ruling for pain and suffering in the last, I, I'm thinking it was the last five years. Um, but that doesn't mean it changed. That one precedent didn't necessarily change. That was an egregious violation, Mark, where the dog was let out by the house cleaners by mistake and the dog got hit by the car by a car and was dying and they took the dog and put it underneath the table where it sleeps as if it was sleeping and did not tell the owner so that, this isn't that, was, a, Tom. that was an extra step of egregiousness i don't know if under normal circumstances you would get more than the actual value of the dog what were you going to say doc Oh, I just want to know if that case was in Colorado. Yeah, it was. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, here, well, here's uh, what I'm here's what I'm asking. Okay, here's what I'm asking. Yeah. If you can, or or saying, and and if you can get a couple vets to say this is beneath the standard of care, I would be inclined to maybe go to small claims court, not for damages, but for a refund because they did not do it properly. I'm going to muddy up that water a little bit. He was a stud dog, and he was starting to be chosen to do his obligations, you might say. So that was all that future income I was going to use, too. So Okay, hold on a second. Just... Hold on. What value would a professional put on that dog? I don't know, but every time he gets studded, it's like $2,000. Well, so... hold on. Was he that good of a specimen? Oh, yeah. He was a grand champion. I know the feeling. Okay, here's what we do. We should truly, you should get the dog value. I mean, obviously, you have to do it posthumously, but you get him value. Okay. As what could have been some income here. May I, look, but you're going to have to do the legwork here. You, uh, and, and look, it, I don't even know if there is such thing as malpractice in veterinary medicine, but I do know that... If you got beneath the standard of care, they breached their contract with you, and you paid, and you lost. I I'm serious. There was an attorney that does dog law or pet law, right, Mark? And she got pissed at us. She won't come on the show. She got really upset with you. Oh, yeah. Oh, go, go chime in there, Suze. But, hey, John, Suze, also do you remember, Suze, do you remember why she got so pissed at me? Uh, I think because we were helping some another caller Against and she didn't yes and she did not agree with she that She represented the breeder that's right she was an attorney and represented yeah. the breeder and we thought the breeder was wrong hey John one more thing make sure you get a copy of the records because if you go to a vet and try and explain it without showing him the records or her the records they're gonna say we need to look at the records yeah, because so they're going to want to know how the dog was presented, it's called. And how it was treated. Yeah. So make sure you get a right. copy of the records for which you are entitled. In other words, if you did not present it properly, they, well, they would still had an opportunity to examine the dog. But still, they want to know a little bit of everything. So ask for all the records. Don't, don't, uh, don't expose your hand on what you want to do right now, but just do that. Um, this is very interesting. Stay in touch with us. 303-713-TALK. We'll give you step-by-step. 303-713-8255. We have more coming up, and I want to remind you that Water Pros has the best water systems at the lowest prices. Like the triple filter reverse osmosis, one of the best drinking water systems around. 1400 bucks, you can't beat it. 303-862-5554. <laughs> Advanced Mud Jacking. It's a name you've heard in Denver for over 35 years. Hi, I'm Levi. My dad, Brian, has oh, been oh, lifting sinking uh, concrete I'm my whole life. Here. Call us, you, Advanced Mud Jacking, 303-424-9441. Estimates are always free. Here you go, early. The concrete lifting specialists. All right. Simply Floors, Inc. The name says it all. That's what they do, floors. Any floor covering. Hardwoods, engineered floors. Uh, they do carpeting, luxury vinyl planking. And they come to your home, you can make an appointment at simplyfloorsinc.com. You can also find out about their showrooms at simplyfloorsinc.com.
inc.com and what i love about this place they have experts that come and help advise you then they have proximity mills for a vast selection and great pricing and then they have the best installers in the business and then dedicated owners buddy and karen mitchell it all works the only place i'll go simply floors inc.com Hey, Genesis Total Exteriors, we talked about what Genesis does for you when it comes to storm damage. What I love is that if you have siding damage, they can upgrade you to stucco. Might be a few more bucks, maybe not. They say it depends on your house, and they do real stucco. They also do complete home improvements. You know, I've known Genesis almost from the beginning, and they are good people you can deal with from roofing soffits fascia siding and that stucco again windows doors decks railings even outbuildings and they go inside too genesis total exteriors.com whether storm damage or home improvements 303-679-8509 the art of granite is the art of countertops mitch fleury is a fine person he truly has established such a wonderful business. He does wholesale on all countertop materials. He does natural stone and man-made materials as well. He does all surfaces except concrete. He told me the other day he doesn't do concrete. But listen, he'll do any number of uh, uh, surfaces, and he'll give you a price on the phone. 303-386-5919 plus special incentives which includes up to 25% off. You can choose your own incentive at theartofgranite.com, 303-386-5919. Why are you staying today? I'm not sure I'm happy about it. (laughs) Not as unhappy as I am. (laughs) Oh, Um, he's got a big smile or smirk on his face. Yeah. Uh, Dragons in Egypt. And were you asking me about my trip? Yeah. He's in Egypt. That How was hostages. I didn't take a trip. Well, where the hell have you been the last week? I did that KTCL concert. I did yeah, KTCL. didn't you stay up there? At uh, Jackson's across from Coors Field, yeah. Oh, no, no. See, For I some reason, I thought it was there. like in Winter Park or something. It doesn't no. look, well, it does look like high pressure, but it doesn't no. look like a wide swath. You really have to go like, that's a very thin. Oh, you can put different tips in it quick connect what? the tip so that must be like a soap nozzle or something like that that is such a oh my god yeah it, it, there's one for uh it's called ripping it outdoors did you see one did you it's see a it? lucid sherpa c1 cleaning drone it's only forty five thousand bucks you got to clean a hell of a lot of windows to pay for that he, he, that's what he has he has that yeah and then you have to buy the extra batteries and everything like so that you so spent forty five thousand dollars on a drone yeah, it's pretty. But but look cool, at the though. technology, bro. Well, the it's nice just part, amazing. The nice part is that we don't have to have guys going over the edge anymore. And you don't have do to that. have bladders. Nothing. Look what it takes the place of. So but our insurance dropped people. significantly when we got that. I can find a guy in front of Home Depot that would climb up there and clean it for I know eight twenty six. I know eight guys at an intersection that already have squeegees, dude. Yeah, no kidding. In fact, they're everywhere now. Let's go. Yeah, so we did the VA. We did the VA up in uh, with Aurora with that thing. That was the first job it did. We did it, and we did the entire campus. In Pretty two impressive. Days. I'm pre- uh, this is this is over the top. You got to put a video on your website. You got to spice up your website with some interesting yeah. shit. You We're, really do. We're starting to get everything pulled together. We're trying to get a good videographer that can do all of it for us at the moment. Hey, Tom and Mark, you guys got a really <laughs> nice email from somebody named Curtis. Is cool, that, send it to us. Facetiously, facetiously nice or nice? Uh, n- yeah. Facetious. Okay. When one or both of you are remote, your show sounds like a middle school podcast. Uh, ah. <laughs> well, he must be talking about Mark. So's your face, whoever you are. Yeah. So's your face. So's your face. You tell him, Tom. He sounds like a real jerk to me. Yeah. Send it to us so, so I can write him back that Tom apologizes. I'm forwarding oh, it right now. Oh, that's right. I got to be it's nice. The new, hold on, hold on. It's the new improved sure, nice Tom. I am sure we can work past this disagreement and come to some consensus on the quality of my broadcast. That was pretty oh. fucking good, bro. Go Thank you. Okay, Mark. And I'm even going to be nice to my morons. What? 
Yep. Hey, morons, I'm going to be nice to you from now on. Make sure it updated, right? I am pledging yes. to be nothing but kind okay. and nice. Are you sure it's not April Fool's, Tom, that you're trying to uh, get a head start on? Mm -hmm. uh. <laughs> so, morons will become how long do you think um how long do you think uh qc of colorado has been advertising with us four years I, more, more than that okay you better not get any mm. god here we go hi tom martino your troubleshooter in my new pledge to be nice um, one guy on uh, one of my YouTube morons says, don't call us morons. That would be a good start. No, I'm going to call them magnificent morons. Now, this Sherpa that they use, okay, premier window cleaning and pressure washing for the pressure washing doing buildings. They can probably do big houses with it too. They use what's called the Sherpa. It's an incredible drone if you guys want to look it up. Mark, what did you Google to find it? What did you I Google? To honest find to goodness, it? man, I don't remember. Hold on a sec. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I had to. It's a really cool drone, though, man. Oh, I yeah, got to admit, it's and, but, it is and, the and, dinkity dink dink. And they use that drone, and they actually own one and do it. So that's uh, Premier Window Cleaning and Pressure Washing. Okay, now let's talk about some other stuff that I wanted to talk about. And then I want your calls at 303-713-TALK, 303-713-8255. Now listen, what do you think the consensus is, truly? Or do you think it comes down to party lines on Jared Polis? What do you think? Do you think maybe even some of his own party is a little disgusted with him? Or do you think it's right down party lines, um, almost half and half what do you think i well it's not half and half in colorado i think uh conservatives or republicans are outnumbered and liberals or, or democrats outnumber again this is a wide open discussion i'm not trying to change your beliefs i'm trying to ask you a question i also want to know this what do you think have you heard about the new open meetings law that he nixed basically he exempts lawmakers from open meetings what does that mean exactly people were asking what does it mean Quite simply, what it says, it means that lawmakers no longer have to have meetings in public. They can meet, they can discuss, they can do whatever they want. What do you think about that? I don't know what the, what the idea was behind it. They want to provide, uh, they want to just provide a, a comfortable environment for lawmakers to meet without the scrutiny of the public. I, I don't understand that. I mean, it seems to me that the wide, wide open free societies should be what we have, especially in government. So what do you think? Any ideas? Do you think it's a good idea, Mark, or do you not care? Do you not care? Suze, do you care that, uh, Shannon, do you care? Not that I care what you think, Shannon. I, I think it's horrible, Tom. No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm serious, though. Should Everything yeah. should be transparent Absolutely. in government. It's all of our taxes that pay for this stuff, so we should know what's now, going now, on. Now, Polis noted that the bill applies only to the legislature and not the executive or judicial. Yeah, didn't they do that in the middle of the night, too, if I recall? Yes, they can. Any, well, anything. It, 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 the entire, the and notice how not one news station that I know of, nor Carl Clark or whatever his name is, that local guy, no, no one talks about it, though. At least not that I've heard. And you know what, Tom? I can understand if they want to have the meetings only observed. What, you know, they don't want the public constantly interrupting or picketing or asking questions. But the meetings should be open to observation, if not interruption. Right. And I want to know what people think of that. Truly, I do. 303-713-TALK. 303-713-8255. I know. I hey, Mark. Can you ask Did Mark you to him? do these? 
Yeah, okay. Now, seriously. Michael, I'll see if I can. I got a six step away. KHOW Denver. Did he say okay? Now, impact traffic. He'll do it. All right. Is sp- it out by Allstate. Some slowdowns over on the far east end of town. I 70 westbound E 470 road work in the right lane. Watch out for some brief congestion spots if you're heading to or past the DIA area. North of there, I 76 westbound, a left lane closed for road maintenance after US 6. That's exit 9, slow driving back from 88th, about a five minute delay. I 25 north and southbound, it's easy speeds through town as well as up north to Fort Collins and down south to Colorado Springs. Fox 31, pinpoint weather, mostly sunny skies, high 6. 62 today warm throughout the rest of the week as well overnight low of 34 tomorrow high of 67 friday a couple clouds in the sky with a high of 63 the current temperature in denver's 40 degrees with your impact traffic and weather mark swan at 6 30 k how some people just know the best rate for you is a rate based on you with allstate not one based on anyone else so if you drive safely you could save money good to know visit allstate.com or call for a quote today Red Rocks Roof and Solar, you know, Brooke was on the other day. Here's the bottom line. You got a commercial piece of property that or a business you want and you own the building and you want to get solar virtually for free. In fact, in some instances, you'll actually make money and get a free solar system. I want you to call up Brooke. She is a 100 percent a genius on getting all the grant money and the tax rebates and everything else to apply towards your system. But these systems are great. They're all American made. That's what I love about it. And by the way, that's where some of those grants come from. But call up Red Rocks before the Colorado grant goes away for businesses up to 50%. Then you lump in all the tax credits. All of a sudden, 95 to 100% of that system is paid for. This could be for people that have short-term rentals. It could be for, you know, strip malls, anything. 303-704-2449. 303-704-2449. Or Red Rocks rs.com now let's talk automotive sheridan auto tech i love uncle kevin you can bring your car there he can do brake jobs full engine replacements transmissions he can do alternators radiators you name it he can do it any electrical problem on foreign domestic and anything else he can deal with and what i really like about him is his warranty nationwide listen to that nationwide three year thirty six thousand miles on every single thing they do check him out at sheridanautotech.com that's sheridanautotech.com do you want certainty your the homeless- action isn't just on the court this march visit triple j armory today all right you there Okay, what's now? Oh, really? So you need another referral? Just call, tell him to, well, when he's done, wait till he's done. I'll, yeah, I'll pay by credit card, just like we did before. I think he sent me a bill, didn't he? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Didn't we put a deposit down? Yes, yeah, so they sent me, they sent me an email, or you sent me an email, and that's how I paid it, so. But however it is, it's fine. All right, bye. La, la, I'm back. Huh. From where'd you go this time, bro? What's that? Where'd you go? Where you, where'd you go, middle schooler? Anthony's? 
Oh, nice. Wow. No, Anthony's came here. Ha ha. Hmm. Hey, I got a promo shoot in mine. Is that drone strong enough to pick Tom up? Uh, <laughs> God, that'd be funny. Him dangling on that thing while it washes the window. I think it would be cool if you did have a drone that could do it just to fly yourself around with the drone. Mm. You know what, though? This would be this. Uh, he can get local news coverage on this. He's the first one to have this in town. This is cool. I asked, I replied to that guy. I haven't heard back from that guy. Which one? The one that said that we're, we sound like crap? Yeah, here's what I put. Because honestly, I, I don't know. I put, Curtis, can you elaborate a little more? Do you mean the shenanigans behind the scenes on commercial or the quality of the actual audio? I really am not sure what you mean. So we'll see what he says. Oh, and then I put, P.S., Tom says you're a jerk. No, no, no. I think we have a mutual missing... Well, never mind. I don't care. Pizza face. God, Mark. We're going to agree to disagree, whatever the hell that means. We are going to. Oh, there he is. When you... Hmm. I remember, Tom, years ago, I was, Suzanne and I and Mikey and his wife were at a restaurant in Colorado Springs, and we parked. First talk station, 630 KHOW. Hi, Tom Martino here, 303 talk 303 713-8255. What's new in your life? Problems, questions, and complaints. We have Jeff. We have a follow-up. And by the way, any problem, it doesn't have to be uh, any particular. We don't, uh, today is not Cardi or anything like that. You can call about anything. And what I really want to know is if you have been lied to, cheated, or ripped off. Because what we do here is keep track of that stuff and can tell you about the worst contenders. Now, the very worst are at sleazebrigade.com sleazebrigade.com. Hey, Jeff, what's going on with you? Well, I'm going to have to look up Sleaze Brigade. <laughs> oh, yeah, you looked that up. You'll like it. What's going on, Jeff? Um, okay, you gave me a uh, a referral to Laramie, Wyoming. I want to, I wanna, my... wait, wait, wait. I don't know anyone in Laramie. I gave you a referral up in Laramie? Yeah. Huh? Because I had an issue with my, hang on, had an issue with my catalytic converter. Oh, 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 I know what happened. Mark gave you some some ill-conceived idea, and, and I'll explain this to people, and I don't mean that. Wait, That's a, wait, wait. What, what did joke. Mark do? It's a joke, Mark. It's actually good advice. And what Mark said was this. If you lost your cat, your catalytic converter, you can, you don't have to spend a lot of money for the California one that they require here in Colorado. Shit, they want two grand. Wait a minute. Yeah, total, total ripoff. Thank you, Polis. No, 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 no. I'm talking about the one here. Yeah. But I, what I said was, if you go to Wyoming, you could probably get it a lot cheaper, like half price, and right. get, get it installed and everything. And then people would always, when, when we talked about this in the past, I don't know if it's still happening, but people would say, you know, Mark, you're telling people to do that, and they're breaking the law, blah, blah, blah. And there is no law that says you can't. There's no law. I mean, what yeah. I'm saying is, is... And my best example to this is, okay, I drive to Texas, and someone steals my cat. What do I, tow my car back or go buy a cat? Yeah, and, and no one checks cats at the border. No one does. No one does. God, can you imagine? Right. I bet we're getting close. So, did you go to Wyoming to buy one? Well, God, no. I, first I called. There was a shop in Laramie that did do that. And? There's only one, actually one place in Laramie. It's not a very big town. And she told me the guy that was doing all that had retired. Oh. Well, there's other so people in Wyoming. Yeah, what, what's the other? I just always say well, Laramie because my kid's in law school up there. What's the other one right down the road from Laramie, the bigger town? Cheyenne. Cheyenne. Cheyenne's, Cheyenne's got like 50 places. So I can maybe do that. Okay. Well, wait a minute. Wait Kansas. a minute. Where are you going? Where are you coming from? 
Aurora, Colorado. Oh, man, when he said Laramie, that was just, that he didn't mean that was the only place in Wyoming. Well, I didn't know. I just... Oh, I I'm sorry for the misunderstanding. What he meant was, you can go to, you can go to Wyoming, anywhere in okay. Wyoming, any auto shop in Wyoming. Okay, I'll have to just call Cheyenne then. Yeah, just look up, just Google um, muffler. Here's what I would Google. Muffler shops in Cheyenne, Wyoming. Okay. And then I would okay. call three or four of them and tell them, hey, I'm in Aurora, Colorado. I was going to drive up either, you know, whatever day works for you guys. Can you guys replace my cat? Um, that's it. That's exactly what I'd say. Right. Well, I, thought I'd go to, I thought I'd go to Sheridan Auto Tech first to get a diagnosis yeah yeah so it's on so it's on paper and well they're I not gonna exactly if you already know you I need, need a I, I don't know how you know i don't remember the call that you need yeah, a big that big you need the converter right but there. you either need it or not big old tires said i did i don't then i agree I with you i'd go to sheridan auto tech and make sure before you yeah. make that drive and replace it that's the problem i was just kind of getting a funny feeling from big oh i you know, you get that feeling in your stomach. Yeah, no, no, no. I I, know I exactly. sit next to Tom every day. I know that feeling very well. It's called a gut feeling. Yeah. I mean, that's what. Yeah. That's why they call it a gut feeling. You know when something doesn't yeah. seem right. Although, we could be sometimes misled by gut feelings. I mean, you know, it, it's not a and feeling. I agree with that. Yeah. yeah. So, so it's good to verify and to check and to confirm and all of that when it comes to everything. I mean, sure. And speaking of that. Yesterday, we had a woman call, and she said she fell for a Marine. Her name was Lucretia. And this guy, this picture of the Marine, she, I got all the correspondence and the photo. Oh, my God, she sent so much stuff. And this guy's, you know, he, he looks like a, oh, my God. I mean, he looks like a stud as far as his body. He's got an eight-pack, and he's got tattoos, and he's got giant muscles, yeah. and he's a Marine, and blah, 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 blah. Anyway, bottom line, thank you for calling, by the way. And, and now I'm moving on to this. This thing, she sent me all of the stuff. He sucked her in, like open up a bank account, do this, do that. And now she's looking at a lot of debt because she basically – without realizing it, was a victim of a scam. She thought, well, I'm going to protect myself by opening up a new account, not my own, and let him do stuff in my account. It's terrible. It's terrible what happened. So I have this guy's picture, and what I want to do is I want to... Um, what I want to do is basically reverse search it on Google to see what it comes up with. But I think that would be fun, right? So that's Tom, I'll bet you, I'll bet you the Marine is a victim as well. I guarantee you, he doesn't know that his picture is being used to scam people. I see this over and over again that they just usurp pictures, and the people, the person whose picture they use, doesn't have any idea. Oh, that it's being you're used. saying that this particular guy? I guarantee you, we'll that see. It's, it's not him. All right. This is incredible, though, the story behind it, and what, we'll see what I find out with this. Plus, your calls, problems, questions, complaints, 303-713-TALK, 713-8255. Get your calls in with any kind of thing you might think is a ripoff. And by the way, 888-HEATING.COM. They will do a free, and I mean free, HVAC inspection, plumbing inspection, or electrical inspection, free. No gimmick. Now they want to get in your home, and they hope you'll use them in the future, but that's what they're doing. 888-HEATING.COM, 303-770-2776. Now, Impact Traffic. This report is sponsored by... Allstate. Some slowdowns over in the far east end of town. I-70 westbound E-470 road work in the right lane. Watch out for some brief congestion spots if you're heading to or past the DIA area. North of there, I-76 westbound, a left lane closed for road maintenance after US-6. That's exit 9, slow driving back from 88, about a five-minute delay. I-25 north and southbound, it's easy speeds through town as well as up north to Fort Collins and down south. 
to Colorado Springs. Fox 31, pinpoint weather, mostly sunny skies, high 62 today, warm throughout the rest of the week as well. Overnight low of 34 tomorrow, high of 67. Friday, a couple clouds in the sky with a high of 63. The current temperature in Denver is 40 degrees with your impact traffic and weather. Mark Swan at 630 KHOW. Some people just know there's a better way to do things, like bundling your home and auto insurance with Allstate. Why make things harder than they need to be? There's a better way to save time and money. Visit Allstate.com or call for a quote today. Keelan Park. Oh, excuse me. I don't know what happened to my voice just then. Keelan Park are estate planning attorneys. And you can trust them to give you an accurate assessment of what you need. What you can do is call them and they'll look at your entire estate. They'll do that free of charge. And they'll see what you need. If you have a business, a lot of vehicles, artwork, houses, heirs, what, what they can do is make suggestions based on what they find, and then they do flat rate pricing. If you decide to have it all done, you can have it all done, or you can do whatever part of it you want, and they will price accordingly, not nickel and diming you, but one flat rate. Keel and Park, 970-818-8198. They'll meet with you, Zoom with you, whatever you need, 970-818-8198, lawkp.com. That's lawkp.com. Fix it 24-7. They are doing an extreme clean for you of your AC and a check and a tune for March. It's a March Madness special. These prices are going away after March, but I got to tell you something. They're the best prices they've ever had. Even their other special doesn't come close to this, and their other special is still a screaming deal. But right now, the only people that truly get the dirt out with their extreme clean, adjust and tune of your AC for $24.07, you heard me right, $24.07, they spend a couple hours at least, and they go through your entire system. Get it done before the heating comes, I mean, before the heat comes, that is. So your AC is running. You can gain as much as 30% efficiency. Fixmyhome.com. Fixmyhome.com. Hey, listen to this one. If you're looking for a water heater or repiping, you can call EuroplumbingColorado.net. Now they specialize in repiping. A lot of people have old pipes and they need to repipe. And they know how to do it with drywall repair as a one-stop shop. EuroplumbingColorado.net. Great pricing. 303-668-6844-668-6844. How much time do I have? Three minutes. Thanks. Okay. Well, I can print it if you want, but it's just going to be really light and hard for you to see. Do you want me to print it? Yeah. Okay. I'll print it. I just got a remote. <laughs> Good afternoon. Thanks for calling the Tom Martino Show. The printer is low. Hi. Okay, fine. What can I help you with? Oops. Yeah. If it'll even print it. Oh, it might be purple paper in there. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh. Oh my gosh. What um what was your name, sir? T R O Y. All right. Hang on for me and Tom will be right with you, okay? Okay. Hold on.
was a radio month last month. Do you know? Yeah, it was. Uh, hang on. Three four to three thirty one. I'm printing them, but I don't have high hopes on this. Now, why would anybody buy this calendar? That's just ridiculous. Hi, Tom Martino here. 303-713-TALK, 713-8255. Troy has a comment on scams. What's going on, Troy? What's happening? Hey, Tom. Uh, let me give you a, a, a website that uh, you can upload that picture to. Really? Called, what does it do? Uh, ten... Yeah, it does a yeah, reverse image search. It's called uh, Ten I T I N E Y E. T I N T I. Okay. Picture. Yep. Okay, go to 10 i Reverse image search. It just came up. Is it better than Google yep. search? Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. It's awesome. Uh, the reason I know this site is because uh, uh, my aunt and my cousin, my cousin who just uh, passed away, uh, they're addicted to these uh, romance scams. Uh, my aunt, she has lost hundreds of thousands of dollars. Uh, and the way I explain it to a lot of people is uh, it's like a heroin addict, right? It, wait, it's wait. When you say she's ab uh, uh, addicted, is she addicted to following them or addicted to she thinks someone's in love with her? Well, yeah, and uh, what she's uh, doing is she's spending, sending, uh, you know, the quote-unquote guy uh, hundreds of thousands of dollars. Wait a minute, her, wait uh, a minute, wait a minute. How old is your aunt? Uh, she's in her uh, late 70s. Does she like Italian guys? <laughs> you know? <laughs> Does she like hey, guys Tom, on the radio? She, uh, she sends, Tom, I think she likes uh, single doctors. Yeah, she sends, she sends, yeah. she literally sends people. Wait a minute. Are you serious? Your aunt has sent people I have hundreds of thousands of dollars. Hundreds of, yeah, she was in a uh, serious uh, uh, relationship with a guy who made lots and lots of money. And, uh, yeah, she convinced her boyfriend, real boyfriend, uh, to invest with this guy that she met on the Internet. Uh, cost her the relationship, cost her hundreds of thousands of dollars, and now she's uh, uh, barely, she went from a very nice house in uh, a beautiful part of Maine uh, to a uh, apartment in Idaho, uh, that is being paid for by uh, uh, the government. Now, and every oh every God. nickel she gets, yeah, every nickel she gets, she goes to these uh, Bitcoin ATMs, drops it in the Bitcoin ATMs, and sends it uh, to you know this fantasy guy. I found uh, this guy. My cousin did. I found this guy. Yeah, but it it his picture came up. It searched 66 uh -huh. billion images, and it found right. him on Snapchat. So now, right. what? Do, that, so that could be the one that she that she did on Snapchat. Yeah. I'm going to upload another one. Well, see. Go no, ahead. What it, yeah, what happens is, uh, uh, so these scammers will find uh, a very good looking, a lot of uh, uh, military guys that uh, or, or any you know, good looking successful guy i can't tell you how many uh how many people have used my picture go now go ahead i'm just kidding go ahead I think <laughs> you know? tom zero yeah go ahead what happened <laughs> yeah so what what happens is uh you know these good looking guys especially from after they've done a deployment they tend to get pumped up and uh you know with muscles you know shows tight t-shirts lots of muscles yeah. and 
they are they are very attractive, and they post a lot of pictures of themselves. And these scammers in India, Nigeria, uh, will start harvesting those images and, you know, building out uh, a profile. And, you know, I think uh, we've talked before about AI. Uh, AI, you know, used to be easy to catch these guys because their grammar was crappy. Yeah. Uh, you know, every, everything was crappy. But here's what's sad. Your aunt, your aunt literally has lost hundreds of thousands of dollars. Oh, yeah, yeah. And nobody can convince her. It, it's like she's a heroin addict. Uh, you're not going to convince a heroin addict to get off the heroin. And she is addicted uh, to this uh, delusion. Oh, it, my It's gosh. a psychological problem that is being fed by technology. And you're so right, you know. I've talked to so many of these people, like your aunt, they just won't accept reality. That is no, so... No, no. It's, it's, it's yeah, sad. They live in their own fantasy world, yeah. It's sad, man. Okay, thank you for calling. I did a reverse search. It's coming up all over Snapchat. Not sure what that means. I'm not finding it anywhere else. We have more coming up on The Troubleshooter Show. We'll delve into this and more. 303-713-TALK. All right, I sent it to myself, I found it, and I got to create the invoice for February. Okay. And I'll create it in QuickBooks, not not during the show, though. So you're just, so you only, you only invoice them for March, then, really, is what happened. Yeah. Okay. Look at this. Scientists say, look at this. Scientists say a pill may mimic exercise. I came up with that idea. Listen, Doc, Man. I came up with that shit years ago. I said, if there's a pill you could take that could bring your heart rate to a certain element, like 105, 110, yeah. you could literally exercise while sitting on a couch. And I think they freaking came up with the pill. Well, they had it for a while because that's, they don't do treadmills anymore. Well, I used to do that when I was on Adderall. I went for my treadmill test. That's right. You don't run no. when you're doing do the heart the stress. They just give you a pill. Right. What do you What you say, Shannon? That's how I felt when I was on Adderall. I bet. How long were you on that stuff? A couple of years. Mostly here. How do I change change? Yeah, that freaked me out on Excel. You got me so sideways. Well, aren't you glad I found it? Yeah, of course I am. So you're going to create a, one for February, and we'll get that over to them. Mm -hmm. I'll okay. set it up. Okay. Come on, where do I log in, damn it? Well, if
if they came out with an exercise pill, I would definitely try that. It's pretty wild, isn't it? I would try it. wouldn't? I exercise a lot. It sure drives Mark crazy. No, it's really wild that now yeah. they have that pill. It's well, like, I mean, I don't. Fuck? I mean, I like to move. So I here's the thing. I don't know if it would give you the benef- mental benefits. It might give you the physical benefits, Mark, but it I might not give you the I don't think it'll get mental. you the physical. Well, your muscles be, aren't going to be worked. Just you know, your that, heart rate. Tom, I agree. It would be nothing more than cardio. It can't help your muscles that well, I know Well, isn't of. that just like doing a line of Coke? Just racing your heart? Yeah. <laughs> See, that's the part I don't understand. Well, the there might, also... The there's problem probably also, more to it. Oh, I'm sure. Well, it, like, it's, oh, it's, no. also, it's also the fact that... Uh, the, how long it lasts. You know, if it only lasts five or ten minutes, oh, it may not really be beneficial. Yeah. So now I'm all disappointed because it's not going to give me muscle tone and it's not going to give me the mental benefits. That's So it won't work for me. Well, then, gosh, I could come up with a pill that recreates sexual activity. I'd be fine with that. <laughs> they have. It's called masturbation. Well, I, I'm saying That's that, not a pill. I, I'm saying that, like you're saying, you just want to lay on the couch and get the benefits without doing anything. <laughs> I'd like that. Just take the pill, have a towel handy, bam, you're done. Oh, my God. What? What Oh, that guy answered me back, Tom. He's eating pizza. You found the ingredient of the Sue's. You found the ingredient of the exercise pill. Oh yeah, the Coke. You're right, Todd. Mm-hmm. You'd think Belushi would have weighed less. The couch potato pill. <laughs> Ivar. You got a pen. Let me have some paper. Is it just the back of that proposal stuff fine? Yeah, yeah. Scrap? So I will update that February sheet again once you create that invoice. Oh, goodness. We're picking up a new car this afternoon. Who is we are for miles. Oh. We're driving it out to him this Where'd weekend. You get him? Santa Fe. 24? 2023. The 2024 is three rows only. You can't oh. get a two row. This will probably be our last Santa Fe, honest to God. Yeah. So, Mark, did you, did you do a lot of research on how much it costs? You mean on the Santa Fe? Yeah. Yeah, very. There's only, there was like two left in the entire state, so yeah. they were a fire sale. So, after, I have to yeah. do the show Friday for Kelly. And Thursday and Friday. So right. Friday after the show, we're going to drive to North Platte, stay the night there, then drive to Norfolk. We're going to help Miles get his TV hung, mm. his bed put together. I'm going to make his apartment a home, and then uh, get him his give him his car. Then we're going to drive his old one back. Then we're going to sell that. Oh, what kind does he have? He has a 2019 Santa, Santa Fe. Fe. With a brand new, what what did they just put in a new turbo? New turbo. Brand new turbo. They didn't put a new tranny in, did they? No. No, just, just turbo. But by the I way, I don't. Want for it. I don't necessarily mean any offense. I can't believe you guys have a kid that's so grown up. I don't mean age wise. He's just so adult, man. So you know, Shannon, he has been the son of my dreams, right, for so long. I'm not kidding. Great. All right, here we go. Welcome. Just as fast as we can. This gonna help the common man. This is the Troubleshooter Show. Now, Tom Martino. Hi, Tom Martino. Your troubleshooter, 303 713 Talk. 303 713 8255. Welcome. What's going on in your life? How can we help you? Give me a call and let me know. 303-713-TALK. We have um, our guest with us today, Premier Window Washing 
and pressure washing, or when, but the, the actual name is Premier Window Cleaning and Pressure Washing. Okay, we've been talking about, did I take Troy already? Is he the one that gave us that great site? Or is this someone else? Can you help me? I think me you out? did. Okay, yeah. We've been talking about scams. And I asked this woman to send me all the details. And man, can I see why she was scammed? It's unbelievable. So somehow she's on Snapchat and she gets a request to snap somebody who appears to be some um, stud, some Marine uh, stationed in Turkey. He sent her all kinds of pictures over the time. You know, the, the, the typical one, the selfie in front of the mirror with his eight pack and muscles and then- And they're always overseas or on an oil work, Tom. Yup, so because they can't, they don't want to zoom, so that's right. And then he sent her all kinds of information. And if I go through this, it, you know, he says, um, you know, it starts out, you know, I think I'm falling in love and all that stuff. So it gets really weird. Um, but he says, I cannot believe that I manage to hurt and break my heart such a beautiful creature like you, or let's see, oh wait. I cannot believe that I managed to hurt and break the heart of such a beautiful creature. I don't know what that means. I am a giant fool for not being more careful with my words and actions. I am terribly sorry. I regret everything. I, oh, I don't even know. They must have had a fight or something. I never intended to hurt your feelings like this. I am terribly sorry. Please forgive me. You are the son of my life. And with you missing, I have grown afraid of the dark. Jeez, oh, this is... <laughs> I, I didn't, she didn't tell me they had a fight. And then some of the other texts, I uh, see, I don't even, I don't get this. Here's one of the other ones. Millions of stars twinkling in the vast skies, but there is only one that is dear to me. Good night and see you in the morning, my love. My God. This guy is like over the top. Tom, they have these things written out and the people who are uh, texting it just text from the copy that the uh, bosses give them. Wow. Some Did you look are... up uh, whose picture it was? Yes, and all it says is found on Snapchat, but I had no information. I'm going to try Google again. But these are... Are you at the ATM now, my love? <laughs> this guy is so, I mean, it, I'm, I'm trying yeah, to get You find to the, it hard to believe anybody could fall for it, as silly as it sounds. Why is the card not working, honey? Is it the same card they gave you? So I want to get to the part, I'm trying to get to the part where he says why he needs it. She didn't send that part, wait. She didn't exactly send that part. Like where it started, it's saying like, I've been waiting to at least hear your voice. I do not want an issue. See, she never did talk to him, you know. Of course not. Um, he says, basically, on the texts, that he's stationed in Turkey, his wallet was stolen, he can't open an account, and he needs her help. If, if she gives bank account, if she establishes an account, then he'll deposit money or gives he he originally wanted hers but do we have her number to call her back did didn't we get her number or is it in this email kachina don't we yeah, have her we number have somewhere i believe yes you, we have it can you call her back i if if we're gonna be like if we're going to be like uh well let's say um, warning people about the scam. I want to make sure I get it right. Because the so part... he would get the money from the ATM, or she would. Then what? Oh no! Here's okay. I should mention for people that didn't hear the original call. So he said, "I can't open an account. Can you give me access to your account, and I'll deposit money?" Well, she was smart enough not to do that. So she thought, "You know what? I'm not going to give you access to my account." So she opened up a brand new account but it was in her name so she sent him the information and he forthwith deposited 
money in a check. What I don't understand is they gave her immediate credit for that. I mean, like they let her have access to it. So some guy sends a check to her account and she's able to draw it out with a debit card. So he tells her, if you could help me um, draw out the money that I just sent and put it in some gift cards, that's the only way I can spend it. So she dutifully goes out and buys gift cards, then gives him the numbers. So what he does now is exhausts the gift cards. So he sends a $5,000 fake check. He gets $5,000 in real money, and she's the one holding the bag when the check bounces. So what's really sad is that now she owes the bank five grand. Now, he didn't leave that alone. He then sent her $18,000 and wanted her to deposit that. Luckily, she did not deposit that. So that part, at least she didn't do that because that would have been uh, a terrible thing. A terrible thing. So she's got that $18,000 check, but I asked her to send me a copy of that too, and I don't believe I have it. But let me go to Troy right now, who's, on, who's calling in. By the way, I'll get your calls in at 303-713-TALK, 303-713-8255. Troy, what's going on with you? Hi, Troy. Uh, hey, Tom. One other thing that uh, happened last night that uh, uh, the uh, – Colorado legislature, uh, the Judiciary Committee, uh, passed a sweeping, uh, what is called an assault weapons ban right. for Colorado. I heard about uh, that on Michael Brown. Gonna, I'm not, I didn't know the details. Right. What this is going to do is this is going to destroy uh, uh, 90% of the gun shops in the state of Colorado. Uh, gun dealers will not be allowed to sell, uh, quote-unquote, assault now, weapons. Now, this is just a bill that so, was introduced. It would, it would ban the purchase, sale, and transfer of semi-automatic firearms uh, defined as correct. assault weapons. Right. It doesn't a lot isn't a lot right. of this so, going to come down to the Supreme Court though? I mean, New York City tried this with any kind of gun. Yeah, Mark, but the uh, uh, bill goes into effect one July twenty twenty. Yeah, but I'm just I guess what uh, I'm saying is we know it's going to change. I, I don't even know why they're wasting their time. Well, so the, I don't know why they're wasting their time either. But the impact that's going to happen to uh, the small uh guys so you know what what i've learned being in the gun business if you want to make it's a devastating small fortune, what's devastating yeah if you want to make a small fortune no that, if you want to time, make a small so fortune, i mean pretty much those are the guns people buy and what he's saying yeah. is a smaller gun shop especially ones that specialize in assault weapons um once this bill goes in even though i'm sure it's going to be knocked down like these always are by the Supreme Court, but that takes time. You know, they're not going to be able to survive if they can't actually sell these weapons um, in the interim. I, I, I want to know something. Right. You so, were in the, go ahead. What were you going to yeah, say? Yeah, so, Mark, uh, so an assault weapon, okay, assault is a verb. Uh, to yeah, I know. Weapon. I'm just calling it what everybody uh, does. And, I get it, man. I own one. I don't care. Right, but... What's happening is uh, we're normalizing that phrase. Uh, yeah, but to me, I, I appreciate what uh, you're saying, but let me, let I, but, me but to please. me, it, it's not even a bad phrase. I don't care. Okay, keep going, but just right, make but your point. I'm not sure the point you're making. Go ahead. Right, but the the legislature is using that phrase, assault weapon, as a bad thing. Uh, a baseball bat's a weapon. Uh, a hoe is a weapon. So what's happening is uh, they've identified uh, firearms, and they've made a shopping list of firearms that they want to ban. And now uh, guns, even pistols, that normal Colorado citizens carry for self-defense 
are going to be on that list. So you will not be able to purchase or uh, transfer or sell. Uh, you know, you you buy a gun, you use it, you don't like it, you can't sell it to your neighbor. So this is going to destroy the the gun industry in the state of Colorado. Well, can I ask Which something? Is exactly these... what they want to do. Okay, hold on. Yeah, no. I, I listen. Yeah. I, I want to ask a question or two. And again, I have to remind people when I ask questions, don't think I'm in for or in favor or against anything. I'm asking clarification questions. That's all I'm doing. Why do people want semi-automatic multi-fire weapons like that? I mean, what what is the allure to them, do you think? What is it? To protect okay. yourself so, from the government. Do you think that's why people want Mark, that, that's Mark? That's not true. No, no. No, so uh, I am a Colorado firearms instructor. Uh, why I do people want red. those weapons, Troy? Huge... Let's get to that part. Okay, so uh, a firearm is made of three basic components. Oh, never the mind. Hold on. I'm not, I'm not going through a whole history lesson. I asked a very simple question. I know you want to make, you want to make this a soapbox. I can't do it, bro. I just want to know what is the allure of these, of these rapid-fire semi-automatic weapons what is protection huh okay but no, no. will Mark, a shotgun protect your house sure it will i, I mean oh, i don't know yeah. i'm not i'm not making the argument against them i'm just they, asking a question when people come into your gun store troy what is the reason they want those weapons okay so a, a modern uh sports rifle an AR is very easy to assemble, very easy to take apart. Uh, I can make modifications to it. It is, you know, parts and pieces. You know, it, it's basically the Barbie doll of guns. So it's it, it, they it, like it because they're easy and simple and and what? Or do oh they... yeah, oh they're very they're very easy to take apart. They're easy to modify. They're easy to uh, fire. It, it's a very stable platform. Okay. Uh, so they, they just so like them. They like them. It, exactly. It, it's like, why do you like one car versus another? Uh, so a semi-automatic firearm is you press the trigger once, it fires once. You press the trigger once, it fires again. Right. So right. it is no different. It, it's all about the cosmetics is what the uh, legislature is going after. So I don't know what they're going it has a What they're saying is it can do way more damage. I, I don't know. I mean, they're trying to make – here's what they're trying – you want to know the truth? It, it, it is an assault rifle, as they call it in the bill. What, why are they calling it that, and why are they going after that? Do they think it's any worse than a shotgun, a rifle, a revolver, a 9 millimeter? Do they think it's any worse? No, they don't. But they want to get their foot in the door. That's what they're doing. They're just, they're just trying to get their foot in the door and get people used to having at least one type of weapon uh, demonized and controlled and outlawed. That's what I think. I don't think it has anything to do with the actual rifle. I think it has to do that it's, it's one of, in their minds, one it's of the still, worst still Everything's ones. against the Second Amendment. So everything they're trying to do is just a waste of all of and our there, times. Mar it's going to end and there up are changing. People, there are people who truly, honest to God, believe that the Second Amendment is old and should be revised it well, was meant tom i'm not arguing that what i'm saying is a lot of these things have already been visited and ruled on in the court they're just simply doing this knowing it's going to be overturned but there are two amendments that are coming under fire over the next few years the first amendment and the second amendment the first amendment is under assault assault right now totally the first amendment freedom of speech and expression forget it that is only if you agree with us. That's what that's, people want to ban everything else. But if it's against what we believe or against the narrative, then it should be quashed. That's just as dangerous as going after the Second Amendment or any other amendment. We have more coming up. <laughs> 
Facing a job loss? Considering a pension buyout? A Quick to these two. Okay. Hi, I'm Linda Gardner, host of Your Money, Your Retirement, and I can help. 720-488-8604. That's 720-488-8604. Conventional retirement involves an IRA, a 401k, or other kinds of what they call qualified plans where your money grows tax deferred and then you take it out and start drawing it down. Joe Cano wants you to know there are untraditional ways that you can grow your retirement. Joe, let's go over those. That's right, and, and safely, that is the key, safely. You know, nothing to do with the stock market. You mentioned 401ks, you mentioned higher rates, or any other stock market investment plan. People are dealing with the stock market. That's the traditional way. People are thinking that being in the stock market, Tom, this is going to make them wealthy. Maybe that worked in the past, but it's not working today. The market is really volatile. And the programs that we have are annuities that are totally guaranteed not to lose the money that you put in. So people can transfer their 401ks, their IRAs, their investment accounts into this fixed indexed annuity that we have, and they will receive not only the safety, but they will receive a bonus to get started. 15% upfront bonus. They're also going to get an income for the rest of their lives, and this is what people really need today. You know, people that I meet almost daily, they're talking the same language. They want to have a sure income, a certain income, just like Social Security for the right. rest of their lives, and long-term care benefits, which is really a high risk that people like you and I and everybody else over 60 are actually, you know, suffering from. Joe, to people, for people to get in touch with you, they should call you directly. They can always look you up at MyMoneyMyWay.com, but I'd like them to call you directly at 303-779-6600. That's 303-779-6600. Okay, as long as we are recommending people, I can't help but recommend John Fuller, an attorney at law for personal injury. Not all personal injury firms are the same. In fact, I marvel at the ones on TV that I see bragging about not only how many attorneys they have, but how many call centers they have and how big they are. Do you understand the bigger they are, the smaller you are? There's no two ways about it. That's math. When you have hundreds of attorneys and you get stuck with one of them, try going to one of the others or the bosses. With John Fuller, you deal with John Fuller. He's the lead attorney and the only attorney. Of course, he has a complete uh, staff of help. But he works each and every case. He's pledged to only be the size where he can work each and every case. You get his cell phone number and his personal attention, and you will notice what I call the difference. At John Fuller, Fuller Law, call for your free consultation always and then percentage fee basis. That's myaccidentlawyer.com. 303-597-4500 Okay How much time? Oh, 09 Not plus much. a free hallway Two minutes I was off duck cleaning No danger, soaps or chemicals 303-471-5150 ZeroResDenver.com ha <laughs> You guys are really a pain in the ass when it comes to that one. Uh-huh. Well, guess what? I'm, I'm cutting a new one for April, so screw you. Yep. Oh, man. You know, the difference between protecting your home with a shotgun and an AR is like using different tools to try to do the same thing. Sort of. I mean, that one tool could be better in a certain situation than another, right, Mark? You remember that gun I held for uh, Big Mac for a while? Yeah. 
fucking 50 caliber pistol. Yeah. Oh, God bless America. <laughs> Holy shit, man. I never even Although, fired it. Was it a Desert Eagle? Uh, it sounds right. So God bless Israel. Yeah, so he got into some trouble. Him and his son got into a fight, so it was like a domestic thing. Yeah. And he had to get all the guns out of the house, so I had that bad boy sitting in my mm-hmm. gun safe for a freaking a year and a half, man. It was so huge. If you don't mind shooting a dollar each time out the barrel or more. God, I bet be it's way more with. than that, huh? Yeah, certainly now, yeah. I could look it up here. Yeah, I am too. I'm curious how much it is. All right, here we go. 6.30 KHOW, an iHeart Radio station. Hi, Tom Martino, your troubleshooter. 303-713-TALK. 303-713-8255. Welcome to the show. What is going on in your life? I have with me um, Tyler from Premier Window Cleaning and Pressure Washing. We, we've been talking about the... Um, various aspects and if you haven't seen this they use this drone that can now how many stories can you go up with that drone right now at the moment we've done seven stories we have not went above they're saying it can go up to like 36 stories we haven't tested that far well, well you gotta you have a long that? hose do you have a now, hose you have that a goes camera? that far does it show you yep. so there's oh. a camera on the front we're trying to figure out how to keep it clean because once solution comes onto it we kind of go blind while we're up there so oh just, boy yeah that's not it's not a good situation but it has an automatic button for parking right to come back and park yep where exactly. you took off from exactly mark do you had in your drone that you had do you did you have an automatic come home button oh god yeah well, or or simply if it ever lost connection, if I flew it too far, it would come home. One time I flew it too far, man, um, and I would never condone this, but uh, I had a certain piece of software I could fly it as high as I wanted, not that I'd ever do it, but I totally lost it, had no idea where it was. It was far away and extremely high, and I thought it was gone, Tom. I, honest to God, thought it was gone. I went back inside, and you can picture my family room in the deck. So it took off from my deck on the coffee table outside. And I was sitting there, and about 15 minutes later, she came back and landed right there, man. Oh I was so excited. Oh, my God. How, that was crazy. So it lost connection, but inside remembered where it was. Yeah, and then I'll tell you what. I remember I just said that I, I, you know, had the ability to fly it as high as you possibly can. You're the one. You're the reason I really got rid of that software because I started thinking, you know, they're no, you saw mine. It's not that big. I could get so high in that thing, you can't even see it. I'm not talking far. I'm talking straight up. And the problem is, man, there's a lot of helicopters and planes. And you, you're the one that told me, man, if that thing ever hit a rudder. A rotor, right. Oh, it, it, you'd be, yeah, or a rotor. You'd be cooked, man. I know it. It could really do harm. I wonder, I mean, there are laws now, right? Do they regulate drones? Um, yeah, it's through the, what is it, the FAA or something like that? Right, right, like of that. course. But did, did, what do they regulate? Do they, Mark, did you said you had a software hack that got it as high as it wanted to go? Wait, without that, would, is there a limit built into them? Yeah, so most of them, I don't remember the altitude, but yes, uh, right out of the box, the software just stops. You can't go any higher than that. Um, and it's probably a good thing, to be honest. I mean, it's pretty high. Don't get me wrong. I don't know how many thousand feet it is. I'm sure we've got listeners that know. But then you can override that in some. But I, I don't know, like, the brand new ones coming out. And I know I did register mine on an FAA site um, at one point. I mean, I don't even know why. I guess in case if it does cause an accident or ends up somewhere they can trace it back to you but i put it under tom martino (laughs) now these drones are not issued numbers though right um i don't believe so right so there's not an identifying number or anything like on an airplane i'm Uh, pretty sure there is now um on some of them not not like a tail number but they have whether it's a chip or something electronic or computerized it has its own number like maybe a mac address but i'm pretty sure they can tell exactly what that drone was and who it was registered to if it's registered you know and what gets me though is how how advanced they've they've become the thing i think that turned the corner for drones is when they had the drones that when you take your hands off the controls 
it hovers in place. That yeah. changed everything because before that, once you took off, it, they never hovered. You, you just took off and had to fly. And you, you could go slow or fast, but you couldn't literally just stay in place. Yeah. And that changed everything because what happened with other people, they would get confused. I mean, you, you had to constantly be moving. Even if you're going slowly, you had to constantly be moving. With Mark's, I liked it because you could fly it and then just stop and it just stops and just sits there. Literally. One of the fun things you can do with it too is if you have a motorcycle or a car or a bicycle, you just, you set it and tell you to follow. So you can get in your car and it'll follow your car at whatever you set it to do, which is really cool. I always thought it would be cool to do going down I-25, except there's bridges. Then you could always see traffic ahead of you and stuff. But by the way, it is the Bluetooth and the Wi-Fi have MAC addresses. So they each drone is a unique, has a unique identifier. And those drones, if you have them follow you, uh, they they avoid objects, right? Obviously, bridges and and, and tunnels. I, I mean, so, what do they so do? So mine, you can you can tell it um, only going forward. I don't know about all the drones out there, but mine, when you're moving forward, you can absolutely make it to where it won't hit anything, unless if you take it out of that mode. In other words, you can do Harry Carry mode if you want to. Not yeah, Harry, and they do that because the, people wait, race. Wait, them. that's not the word I want, Harry Carry. It's the uh, well, it's the. Um, the, the suicide pilots. I mean, it could do one of those if you wanted it to. Kamikaze. Yeah, the cool part with ours, right, is, is we bring it up to a certain level, and then we stop it there, and it can only move at that level side to side, so it allows us to kind of keep control of what the drone's doing up inside the air so we can get a good clean on it. Man. So I can't wait till you can go building to building like in Dubai. You just hop on a... You know, hop in a drone. There is no driver. You Uber a but drone. But do they actually have that in Dubai carrying people? Are you sure? I'm pretty sure they have that right now in Dubai. Well, it, it, because I would be really reluctant to be in something like that. Because what happens with a power failure, you know? I mean, because they haven't figured out. Well, actually, you can make them foolproof if you did some kind of parachute system, yeah. I guess. Um, that would be pretty cool. Yeah, that'd be sweet. But you know, did you see that serious um, uh, accident? I think it was last week, man. That parachute saved the family. It was a guy, his wife, and I think a, what happened? A toddler. They lost. I don't know what happened, but he lost control um, and engine failure a little bit after takeoff, and they were in a pretty wooded area under them. And as a last resort, he hit whatever button it is, deployed the parachute, and they all walked away from it with uh, very minor injuries. Um, but what? it's crazy. That parachute saved them because that wooded area, they, they weren't going to be landing anywhere, man. Yeah, I just, I just saw this. I just saw it, man. And, it, it, and they had a video of it. Um, I don't know if the video came from someone's backyard or where, but you can see the pictures. I don't know if it was video or just the pictures. The but engine man. failed on takeoff, yeah, saving the people. Uh, it said two people on board. Maybe this is not the one, but... I'm pretty sure that's it, and March there was a 7th, kid. It says March 7th. This one was. So I don't know, man. But, uh, yeah, th that's an amazing airplane. What people don't understand is when that uh, parachute does get deployed, it totals the airframe. I mean, it, it's not like you can reuse it again. It, the, the airplane's toast, yeah, it, but people live. It was uh, uh, Santa Rosa residents, including a two-year-old child. Okay, then I didn't have the right one. 38-year-old adult. Um, let me see. March 8th headed Santa Rosa with two 38 adults. So um, it sounds like the parents and the kid, but... Uh, it was a Cirrus SR-22. Right. Um, you, did you have one of those? Yes, I had two. So seven. how, like, what do you do? Is it like like a code you put in or a lever? No, what, you have, what ejects You have it? a lever between the two seats that you reach in, you reach and you pull it up. You First you have to pull it up and then pull it out. And, and uh, you, you're not, you, you are not physically doing it. What you're doing is releasing a shot uh, an igniter that then then there's a blaster 
that blasts it through the back of the plane. Almost like an ejection on one of the jets for yeah, the you, pilot. You, yeah, you have no, you you wouldn't have the physical strength to to do that. So, so what, you have you, to kill the engine before, it, like. Well, if there's the, a there's a deployment procedure, of course, got it. and what it is is to yes, you should kill the engine and you should slow down and then do it, but but. In an emergency, they say it doesn't matter. I mean, if you're going to die, you do anything. Because, but the, the, then what happens is it shoots out the back. What would be what would be um, the rear windshield of a car? There is no windshield there, but it shoots out that direction, and then it pulls, it rips cords out from the airframe at four points. So there's so when the parachute is rock, it, there's a rocket you fire. The rocket pulls the parachute up. And as it pulls the parachute up, it pulls these cords out in four points. So it's a four-point harness, and it's it's the front has two places and the back has two places, and then the parachute comes up in the center, and then it just drops you down. It, it says, listen to this, the plane and parachute became entangled in the trees about 100 feet off the ground. So the parachute got stuck, and the plane got stuck. They were 100 feet off the air. That's just insane. They, they said it's a modern-day miracle that these people walked away with a few scratches. Yeah, and I've seen interviews with people. There was one guy that had a heart attack and lost consciousness, and they came and got him. And, um, you're, you know, man, all kinds of things could happen. Yeah, but, but it, if he lost consciousness, how the hell did he deploy it? Well, no, right before he lost, he did it. Oh, I see, and I see. There are people who say that pilots will take... Uh, unnecessary risks when they have it they 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 say that it doesn't necessarily add to safety i disagree um this the same idiot that would take unnecessary chances would be unsafe in any plane but but i think that if used properly in the way it's supposed to be used it can save lives every single time i mean if if especially when people are in weather conditions and they lose orientation they don't know where the hell they you, you are. know one that that scares the hell out of me i thought about it was a private jet i'm pretty sure the guy was a golfer but i guess they lost oxygen because they were too right. high and then it, and then it flew and flew and flew and flew until, until it, it crashed again. into the ocean it and was died Payne Stewart. he was a very famous that's golfer. right that's right Payne Stewart. that like freaked me out i'm like that that's my worst nightmare on a commercial jet you're headed to hawaii somehow oxygen's gone pilots and everybody else yeah. are passed out and that's it you're rich, done rich real quick what's your comment on scams go ahead rich hey tom just real quick you know how we all get disgusted at these people that wake up and try to take advantage of older people and people yes. there's a great movie out called beekeeper with jason statham it's called beekeeper oh what's really? it about it's all about scams yeah he gets uh i he, love he, him by like, the way i oh love my that god wait till you see this movie he gets ultimate revenge on these people that um, take advantage, you know, through scams. Uh, oh, I, I don't have to make a long it. story short. Oh, yeah. He's living on a farm, just incognito like he normally does. A uh, scammer calls the lady who owns the house he's living at, and he goes off on these people. Awesome movie. You won't believe it. Yeah, what a great it. idea for a movie. Thank you. I'm gonna look. I'm gonna look for it. Is it on Netflix or Amazon or where? Uh, Beekeeper. Yeah, anything. I watched it on Xfinity, but uh, yeah, Beekeeper. You should be able to find it anywhere. Thank you. I'm going to. I appreciate it. We got more coming up. KHOW Denver six thirty KHOW and iHeart Radio station. Download the free iHeart Radio app for all your music, radio, and podcasts. Now, impact traffic. This report is sponsored by Discover. Some new slowdowns into the downtown area. I-25 southbound before Spear Boulevard. A crash blocking two right lanes has slow traffic back from I-70. Merge left for that one. We're seeing about six minutes of delays. Northeast of there through Commerce City, I-76 westbound after US-6. That's exit 9. Left lane closed for road maintenance. We're seeing stop and go back from 88th, about five minutes of delays. Fox 31 pinpoint weather. It's a warm week after last week's wintry weather. Weather high 62 today, overnight low of 34. Even warmer tomorrow, mostly sunny skies with a high of 67. The current temperature in Denver is 52 degrees. With your impact traffic and weather, Mark Swan, 630 KHOW. Did you know Discover wants everyone to feel special? That's why with your Discover card, you have access to 24-7 customer service, as well as $0 fraud liability, which means you're never held responsible for unauthorized purchases. Learn more at discover.com slash credit card. Limitations apply. Two companies now that make home improvements or decorating your home so much easier. 
We have Made in the Shade, denvershades.co, and Simply Floors, Inc., Dot com. That's I-N-C. Now, with Simply Floors, it's just what the name implies, floors. Whether it be hardwoods, engineered floors, they call them, which are kind of like a veneer or a laminate. And then you have your uh, carpeting, luxury vinyl planking, whatever it is, they have it. And they have the best installers in the business. They'll come to you, make your own appointment, great pricing, Simply Floors, Inc., Dot com, a one-stop shop. And speaking of one-stop shop, Made in the Shade. If you want window coverings, they come and measure and have a design consultant help you pick the right stuff. They come up with a budget, and if you agree, they go ahead and order it, have it delivered, and have their in-house installers put it up perfectly. Again, two companies taking the hassle out of everything. And to find Made in the Shade, it's denvershades.co. Denvershades.co. I was saying you. the plane caught four minutes. Yeah, I mean it's weird. She says it caught fire. Yeah, it's weird. What plane? Hey, so Tommy, I was talking to this gal at yoga this morning. She said she didn't like to fly because she's had two emergency landings in her life on a plane, and she had a friend die on a plane that caught fire, and and they couldn't get out his friend in time. It's just crazy yeah. that you would have two emergency landings oh like that God, in a I lifetime. Know it. And then have a friend die. I was on a separate flight that caught fire. So he, I couldn't tell you if that was commercial or like anything. Uh, here's know. one in uh, Tokyo. Is it in Tokyo? Boulder. Which Airport. makes sense. Yeah, so uh, uh, airline it is great and four like, people yeah. burned to death. Yeah. And it happened on the ground. How long ago? It, one He's plane really basically ran into, into really another. Quite How long ago? Uh, uh, January. I'm going to try to pass that on, man. Thank That's you. the date of this. There were 379 you got passengers. It, Thank you. Um, what is this? I want to say this was, it looks like this year. That's crazy. But I can't really tell. Yeah. It was published January 2nd, 2024. Just crazy. I was just like, <clears throat> well, no wonder you don't like to fly. <laughs> Yeah, and she, she also was saying, I kind of feel like Cabo's just an. Ex- I haven't been in years, but it's just an extended version of California. And I thought, I didn't think so. Did you? No. So well, it's the Baja. I mean, I know, literally, it she is. Was like saying, in fact, I think that Baja is called California. I know. I'm just saying it didn't. I don't feel like we should have just gone to California instead. You know what I mean? That's, you know, so I don't know. Yeah, that is unbelievable. Yeah, that just happened. That just happened. It looks like, I think I remember this now, a Coast Guard plane hit it. Oh, yeah, that was, that was I do Asia, wasn't it? This. Mm-hmm. And the lady that told me was of Asian descent, but... It wasn't as bad as the Malaysian jet that's still missing. That's God, that I am enthralled by still. that, man. We still are haunted, Mark and I. We watch anything on that. They don't even know. They have no idea even what direction it it's went. crazy. I mean, they have all these theories, but I'm telling you, they don't know shit. I can't tell you how much I wish I had a time machine. I'd get so many people tickets to that plane. <laughs> <laughs> Shannon, you're such a sick. What God? <laughs> to me, it sounds like the co-pilot or the pilot, I forget which one, uh, hijacked that thing, basically. Yeah, but where but did they hide it? But there are, there's all kinds of theories. In the ocean? Yeah, they mm. slammed it in the ocean. I'm actually... It's a hell of a good mystery, hasn't though. Found it. You know, like they, all those... Really? They so claim to find pieces haunted. of it. There's so many families are haunted, Kelly, not knowing know. like, where they went. I mean, they're able to find the Titanic. Got yeah. it. Yeah, how long that take? They might have just found Mark, a million. Look at, my, look at my post I just Hey, made just it. looked up Project. These, those bastards, how dare they want to strengthen the family, ensure freedom of speech, where secure is our border where, where, on where? YouTube. Tlaib, your wife's freaking jambalaya, holy cow, and her beans and ham, holy cow. Still dreaming of that stuff. It was so damn good. And good company. 
When did you do that? Like a month ago, we went to Belinda and to Leaves, and oh my oh, God, wow. Tom, you got to get an invite over for her dinners. Holy cow. I think Tlaib's a flat earther now, though. Yeah. <laughs> Real cutting edge stuff there, Tlaib. <laughs> 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 but he's right. Water doesn't stay on a ball, it stays in a plate, not on a ball. Deputy Dollar was going to find out why that bank gave that woman immediate credit. That's a good one. I think they generally do give immediate credit. I, I, okay. I didn't know that, really. Here we go, coming back. Hey, Tom Martino, your troubleshooter, 303-713-TALK, 713-8255. Tyler wants to do a... A special today for his window washing and pressure cleaning. Go ahead, Tyler. What do you want to do, man? We're running $100 off for the month, for the remainder of the month in March for uh, any service. Any service. So any pressure service. washing, window washing, even if snow comes up? Yep. Now, snow removal, they don't have to have a contract with you. They, no, they can no just contracts. call. Yep, they can just call. We can come and out you'll come one time, do their driveway or do their house. Yep, exactly. So you guys should keep this number handy just in case because really there are very few snow removal people that'll just come out and do it they want to boy i could have used them last week man i don't think they could have made it out to your house. i don't think that's the whole problem i don't think they could who was telling it. me oh mitch floria told me out at his house in kittredge i think that's where he is three feet he measured three feet that's not that's not a drift three feet now, by the way, here's, um, here's what it is, TrustPremierWindow.com or 720-953-0078. 720-953-0078. dollars off any service. And that's good for the whole month of March. Yes, it is. Well, we got another 10 days left. Okay. Yep. Anyway, uh, <clears throat> let's continue here, and uh, we'll take your calls at 303 713 talk 713 now somebody said tom you're right about uh, assault rifles they don't care about assault rifles they just want to get their foot in the door as soon as they get one band then they go to the next and then someone else said this uh deputy Do dollar uh he he said that that woman was definitely scammed he looked at the pictures this morning but what i wanted deputy dollar to find out is why that bank gave immediate access to those funds when she deposited or when he deposited a $5,000 check. That's the part I don't understand. Usually they wait a while before they give you access to those funds, but she was able to take those funds out and then got into trouble. Um, anyway, we got more coming right up. Yep. Now, impact traffic. This report is sponsored by Discover. Some new slowdowns into the downtown area. I-25 southbound before Spear Boulevard. A crash blocking two right lanes has slow traffic back from I-70. Merge left for that one. We're seeing about six minutes of delays. Northeast of there through Commerce City, I-76 westbound after US-6. That's exit 9. Left lane closed for road maintenance. We're seeing stop and go back from 88th, about five minutes of delays. Fox 31 pinpoint weather. It's a warm week after last week's wintry weather. High 62 today, overnight low of 34. Even warmer tomorrow, mostly sunny skies with a high of 67. The current temperature in Denver is 52 degrees. With your impact traffic and weather, Mark Swan, 630 KHOW. Did you know Discover wants everyone to feel special? That's why with your Discover card, you have access to 24-7 customer service, as well as $0 fraud liability, which means you're never held responsible for unauthorized purchases. Learn more at discover.com slash credit card. Limitations apply. EuroplumbingColorado.net. We're talking the best prices ever for water heaters. It's that simple. And I'll give you that number. You will be amazed. First of all, a 40-gallon tank, fully installed, the old one taken out and hauled away, and that's just $13.99. A 50-gallon is $14.99, and no matter what size you want, they do the best pricing. No one can touch them. Put them to the test for water heaters or any plumbing repair. That's EuroplumbingColorado.net, 303-668-6844. 
668-668-6844. Red Rocks Roof and Solar has deals when it comes to solar that can hardly be beat. First of all, you get an extra 10% tax credit, not just the 30%. You get 40% with them because everything they have and sell and service and install is American made and that gets you an extra 10%. No other company's doing that. So that's 40% tax credits. Now, if you're a commercial system, they can show you how to actually make money on it or get it completely paid for. Red Rocks, rs.com for Red Rocks Roof and Solar, redrocksrs.com. Hey, k h Home Solutions, these are the people who are doing all of your home improvements on the outside and now they've moved to bathrooms as well if you want to have your bathroom done they'd love to meet with you the oldest home improvement company in all of colorado started out at ksk went k h windows they're now k h home solutions and you can talk to them about a beautiful bathroom whether it's just a shower area or the whole thing at 30347 excuse me 303421 7100 303421 7100 gone. No. Was it just ratings? He was calling Mark. What were they I calling him? Budget cuts. What? A They're pillar of the community. <laughs> oh, at the bar? <laughs> what are they going to do to fill those at two the hours? bar. Tom, Suzanne <laughs> got such a kick out of it. No, I didn't. I was pissed. I was like, pillar of the community. <laughs> Is that me? No, that's so... <laughs> I don't want to embarrass Mark. Never mind. Somebody at a bar was calling Mark the pillar of the community. <laughs> I thought they were a very him. drunk guy at the bar was calling me. <laughs> and and the Mark pillar. wasn't far behind him. <laughs> it was like, oh, from one pillar to another. I had enough to drink. I told her to come get me. <laughs> so she comes up to get me, and the guy's like, oh, why has he got to leave? 20 mile tap house, whatever that used to I be. Can't, I can't, uh -oh. I don't have my headphones. Why what the next person in here? It's it's Caldera from home. Uh, did I hit the button? No, it's just it's Caldera from home. You were asking what's happening next. Mark's halfway oh, out no, the door. I asked all the way out. Away. How long is that going to go on, Shannon? I uh, well, I don't know. We're just going to at least figure out today and tomorrow. Did I hit a button? No, no, no. no. I was just trying to talk to you. Call, I thought that they were calling you the. Polka oh, Parker. there you are, Talib. Did you hear your wife's jambalaya and beans and ham were the best? Tell her my birthday's tomorrow. Yep, pillar. Pillar. I thought it was Pope of Parker. <laughs> the Pope of Parker. <laughs> the Pope of Dunco. <laughs> the Earl of Elizabeth. <laughs> That's a pretty good one, too. Yeah. The Frank of Franktown. Talib, you guys are going to have to have Tommy and his gal and us over again for jambalaya and beans and ham. I don't think Stephanie eats any of that she, she would she would eat the shrimp out of it and oh it was so good holy the, cow i'd eat the shrimp out of that that's, seafood. that's my new yeah, inappropriate i i'm still thinking about that meal only if the chicken's white and tasteless yeah <laughs> that's why they're inviting you white and tasteless <laughs> you're a piece of shit uh, no, he's talking about Mark. <laughs> no, he wasn't. He was oh, talking about Tom. Oh, I wasn't. That was all Tom. What? You want to pick up your car now or tomorrow? After the show today. Okay. The show's over. I think I got the last time. Almost. They, I got a call in four we'll minutes. See you tomorrow. The last calligraphy. The last two calligraphies I can. in Colorado. Tomorrow. See you, Doc. Tell me when you want me to help you. Go get yours. Get your what? Jeez. Colonoscopy. His car. Oh. His colon. God, can you imagine having to look up Doc's ass? Oh, jeezers. Oh, oh, what is that? That's like, the first thing the Doc would say. It's like that bat cave in Austin. <laughs> All that stuff flying out of there. MR, yes. Yeah. He does shows in other places, though, if you look him up or go to his website. He does a show in Kentucky every day. 
I think every day. He, he does have other shows. No, it's clearing my throat. Uh, uh, um, excuse me. Sure. Oh, here hey, we go. Tom Martino here, 303-713-TALK. Finishing up things, Premier uh, is uh, offering $100 off any service, whether it be pressure washing, window cleaning, or uh, snow removal, till the end of the month, that is. And it's um, you can reach them at denvercopressurewash.com or trustpremierwindow.com, either one, or 720 720- Nine five three zero zero seven eight, and we were having a spirited discussion off the air uh, about Mark being a pillar of the community. I don't even know what that means. Um, but Suze, who called him a pillar of the we're, community? We're not going uh, down that a road. A gentleman at a bar in Parker. Oh, who was inebriated? Is, okay, so first of all, <laughs> oh, he well, he this, had to have been. This was twenty four years ago, oh. which makes it more laughable. <laughs> oh, yeah, because twenty four years ago he was a dredge of society. It wasn't Tom he? Martino, <laughs> at Real Tom Martino, and still anyway, with all of us. I want to thank you guys for being here. Don't forget, and, and this is important. This Are is we done? T- I guess so. Yeah. Was it 04? I don't know. I thought it was 44. We're out. Sorry, brother. Okay, no, it's okay. I thought I thought wasn't the is the is the out is it 5804 at the last hour? I think so. It's slightly different. All right, man. I'll see you. Okay, we're done, bro. I gotta Rock take roll. a call at no two, two minutes. We got calls coming through here, so I gotta go start getting back to everybody. You can just let yourself out real quick. Okay, sounds and good. It's, just make sure that door closes, because a lot of times it doesn't. You want me to lock it at all or no? No, you know, there's okay. no way to. So, but, uh, yeah, and I'll schedule a window clean here or whatever. And thank you. Listen, I'm going to tell you something. It means a lot to me that you're giving that guy a chance, honestly. Yeah. God, it means so much to me. And I think I'm going to research on making it legal and maybe working it out where you can, um, you can maybe have a source of good people. Bring them in and then just get the... the I'm thinking. It's honest to God. It, be. it could be a source for you. Yeah. And you know, I'm not saying you take advantage of them, but you probably don't have to pay them as much yeah. as you do, like these assholes who are... Who are uh, they're like, show up. I can't believe we had like five of them this month that literally did, never even showed up. They get hired, they go through all of it, they fill out all their W-4s and everything, and... Laters. So, Tom, I appreciate you a ton. No problem, man. It's Just great to attention. hang out with you. Yeah, I'll see you, uh, I'll see you here soon. I'll see you, bro. Thank you.